Nation. Yes, yes. What's good with my family, man? Shout out to Terrence L. Tycho, Benjamin R. Vega, Naomi, Raider Joe, Raider Way. What's good with my people, man? Make sure you guys like and shoot. Bro was back there going crazy right now with ice and all kinds of other shit. You don't even know we can hear that right now. Yeah, I, hey, yes, I do. <laughs> Shout yes, out to my I brother, do. Too. Shout out to OG Fade, man, Chris Gang, B. Al, Cool Kev. Yes, man, I got my brother Stu in the building. Hey, Stu, Dude, I man, wanna... I feel like I feel like I haven't been on. I feel like I haven't been on in a while, man. Nah. Whoa. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me turn that shit stuff off. Sorry. No, you good. Shout out to the chat gang, man. Thor, my brother. What's man. up, Andy? What up, Andy? He's doing too, bro. What's good? What's good? Hey, so hold on real quick. I'm going to say shout out to my brother Thor real quick. So I had a little jam today, man, because I was supposed to go out. I'm, I'm going to Vegas this weekend. Um, I was supposed to stay with my brother Fingers. Um, something happened. He's going to be gone for a little while. So I had to switch plans last minute, man. And uh, my brother Thor, man, blessed me with something beautiful out there in Vegas, man. To uh, yeah, shout yeah, out yeah to man. Thor. Shout out to yeah, Thor. Yeah, shout out to my brother Thor, man. Shout out to my brother, man. Shout Thor. Yeah, yeah, my guy Thor, man. You you definitely gonna you you gonna meet him in a minute uh, too, Stu. Facts. I got you. Shout out to Chronicles. What's up, OG? Shout out to everybody in the building, man. Dangerfield, Rod Gas. What's good? Mm, with you? Yes, man. Mondo's in the building. Been bad. What's good with you guys? Hey, so look. We're trying to get our brother Stu to 1,100 subscribers. Oh, so yeah. Monetize. So what we're going to do is, you guys, we're putting together something where... We it's a lot more than 1,100 subs, though. We, we need more time. Yeah, yeah you need... And you, you gotta that watch hour. Time. Those 4,000 watch hours is crucial. Yeah, you got to... Yeah, what... Oh, what'd you say, Andy? I missed the first part of that. Like, like you do got to hit 1,100, but, like... People need to have watched your channel for a total of four thousand hours. Okay, yeah. I got you. I got you. But but what, what you already know? We are gonna run that up. We gonna. Oh yeah, up. those lives, the lines, knock that out real quick. Yeah, yeah, we gonna run that up. I, I wish I knew that cheat code. <laughs> I yeah. wish I knew that cheat. I, code. I found that game right when I had it. Right when I needed it, bro. Right when I needed, it, I found that. So I was like, Man. how many hours? Four thousand. Hey, real quick, so that gets knocked out real quick. What we're going to do is, y'all, pretty much once we get a stew to 1,100 subscribers on the YouTube, we're going to do like a jersey giveaway. Like a jersey giveaway. He's going to sign it, yeah. send it to you. We're going to do some type of giveaway. All right? So oh. 1,100 subscribers. So make sure you guys go subscribe to Stu's channel. Um, while you're at it, go subscribe to Andy's channel if you're not already as well. You already know. Um, but, yeah, man. So let's get up. Let's run Stu up. Let's run it up, man. Let's run it Back. up. Let's get, him, let's get him to that, man. Hey, like 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 us, Tycho said. What up, though? What up, though? <laughs> yeah, baby. Stu's yeah, channel was right channel. here. Hell right yeah. here. Shout out to Terrence. Shout out, Terrence. Yes, yes. So this is what we're gonna do today. Hey, matter of fact, real quick too. A hey, Sunday, y'all. If you guys are watching the game and you you're looking for somewhere else to watch it as well, Andy's channel. Then him and Stu are gonna be live together. Yes, They're gonna live stream the game. They're gonna break the whole game down, so make That'll sure be you fun guys, as fuck, man. Yeah, you guys are gonna have fun, man. I, I love those live streams. I wish I could be there, but I'm gonna be at Allegiant Stadium. But I'm gonna be tuned in. You man, I, mean? I just, I wish, I wish we could show the film. You know what I mean? Man, oh my goodness. Oh, hey, here's, I, here's what I want to get. Um, uh, I want to get a dry erase board. I need, I need to remember that. I want to get a dry erase board. I have a big one right here in my room. Yeah, man. I need, I need, I need a big one too, so I can just. So I can draw up the stuff, at least yeah. so they can see it. Ooh, that'd be fire. That'd be yeah. fire. So today, y'all, we're just going to be talking our shit, but we're going to do the same thing we did last week. We're going to have Stu bring up some highlights um, and break down what he's seen on film. So it's not going to be it's not going to be a big, you know, like breaking down every single play, but we're going to break down pretty much hey, every, every big hey, play. Why don't, why don't we, you know, just – have them pick some plays, you know, and okay, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. Some good, some bad. Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. good, some bad. So hey, what y'all what Stu just said, y'all put some plays in the comment section that you want Stu to break down. Oh, let me let me get that YouTube. Hold on. 
Yeah, it's all good. And Stu will bring it up, and we'll all just sit here and let Stu break it what down. What is it called? Like, what's without the link? What is the YouTube called? So, if I, I have the it. highlights, go to Raider, Raider, uh, Raiders, uh, Chargers highlights, right? Or wait, what? You, which? What are you talking about? Oh, you talking about the whole game, Andy? Huh? What are you talking about? I was talking about what's your YouTube channel's called, like name. So I, I was just gonna say the Stuart Schweiger show. Okay. I, I mean, feel like I feel like that's good, but you need to put some sort of Raider in it, like something. I well, well, well this I is mean, the thing. He's gonna be breaking down more than just the Raiders. Oh, then yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the only thing. I, I mean, obviously, it's it's an emphasis, but also I want to speak Purdue. I want to speak high school stuff. I want to speak non-sports stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. I will, um, I definitely like in the artwork or whatever would have some stuff depending on what I'm talking about. But I mean, what do you guys think about the name of the show? I, I did, That's I didn't not like a bad it. one. No, no, I love it. But the only thing is, it's hard to spell your last name. Yeah. Hella hard. So what, what about story time with Stu? But. Or, or it could be something, you know. So uh, I, I don't know. I mean, we, we could think of something, but I like the Stuart Schweiger st uh, show for sure. And what I did, honestly, dude, I just went on and I looked at like what some of the other guys use and like Pat McAfee. Chalkboard just, stew. <laughs> what's that? Chalkboard stew. See, I mean, we could see we could have like segments like that. You know what I'm saying? Like Stu's news, Stu's views, cooking with Stu, uh, coach, you know, coach's corner or whatever. I like, um, that, I like that cooking with Stu. That's yep. dope. We actually had one in, in Oakland. Um, the man, man, it's just gonna be chicken breast and rice, man. The hey, swag man. bag, hey, Delta I, can cook, the swag I, bag. Can, I make a mean meatloaf, man. A mean <laughs> meatloaf. Stuart hey, Schweiger Sports. That's the not bad. SNS, the SNS show. S but what? think about SS, the whole like Nazi yeah. army stuff. Because I thought about that when I was coming up with logos before, and I'm like, man, oh, what, the, what the heck just happened? I'm like. SS may not be the best initials to have. SS as, breakdown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just it could. I don't know. It could be hey, SNS like some uh, like some like some sexual crazy shit too. Oh, uh, that's S and M. Uh, I knew you would know. I, I I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Come on, I, you that was that, you said hey. that one. Hey, before we get into the plays, man, I feel like we have to talk about Alex Leatherwood, bro. We both said it. We both, yeah. we both we both were talking about it, man. No, definitely, bro. So what we're talking about, Stu, is all right, tackle Alex Leatherwood. We've been me and Andy been preaching about this for a long time. I saw so, something about him, but I didn't see exactly what. What happened? Break it down, Andy. So basically at Alabama, he played all four years, but out of the four years, three of them was at guard. Only one year he played left tackle. What and we year was it? What year was it? It, is? it was his, it was his last year. It was his last year, but and, and he won. What is it called? What is the award called? Um, um, for best offensive lineman. Yeah. Um, whatever you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. He won that award his final year. Um, so we drafted him as a tackle, but we moved him from left tackle to right tackle. But like I said, in three in four years at Alabama, he played. Left guard and right guard. Outland award. Outland award. I'm you yeah. know what? That totally makes sense now because when he's out there, he's almost acting like he's got help and stuff like that. And he's slow with stuff. And a guard, a guard can play a little bit slower than a tackle, man. That's why tackles are usually taller. They need that that kick slide. Well, well, Brandon Parker is, I think, what, two inches taller. Um, and I think Alex Leatherwood at guard, I mean. It's. I mean, when you have three years under your belt, man. I like Stu's views. I like my my bad brother. I like Stu's views and I like Stu's sports talk. Those are two simple yet effective. Go, my, my bad brother, go go ahead, bro. That's a good one. Thanks, guys. Yeah, if we if you guys if we could keep brainstorming and we'll come up with something. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Or you you can won't you do something where you bring both of your numbers alive like the, the like thirty and nine like the th th like three oh nine show. You like, know what's cool is my address here in. And uh don't say your address. <laughs> oh no, the num the number the number's 930. Nine it was 930 Lindbergh, and I'm like, that's pretty cool. Uh you know, having the nine as my first. So really, like my Purdue jersey and my Raiders jersey is my address, which is kind of cool. But oh why, why don't you why don't you do the 930 show? And every time you do it, it's at 930. 
That's not a bad idea, too. The 930 show and every That's every night. Every night it's at 930. It's not every every night I'm doing one? No, I'm saying whenever whatever night you oh. do it, 930. Well, you know what? Having consistency is important too, you know. It's big, man. Yeah. yeah huge. Shit. That's you know I know. Point. Yeah. But I, I, I like that. The 930 show. That's dope. I but do like that. I real quick. Let me let me highlight Mo Dizzle real quick, and then Andy, I want you to break that down on my. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, Andy, talk a little bit more about that. Um, Car sack on th a third and three. Was there a better option? And did you guys see Clee like Bosa's Insta post after the game? Obviously, after Bosa made his comments. Yeah, I, I didn't like that, bro. I, I didn't like that. I feel like Clee is kind of slowly but surely, um, doing little shit. Wait, what? Yeah, Clee Clee put like on Joey Bosa's post. What did Joey Bosa say? Or what what it wait, Joey Bosa said that on his post? No, 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 no. It was just a post that he posted up after the game. I forgot what he said it in was it. About him being scared back there. Once you hit him, you get Oh you no, but he didn't mention that on the post. No, no, no. He didn't mention that on the yeah. That's not anything, man. That's not anything. Yeah. But, but I, I want to know in my bro, bro, Bosa's a great pass rusher, bro. Did a anyone from Oakland come to his defense? Yes. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I see Max say something. A few other players uh, spoke up. I mean, shit, DC spoke up. What'd he say? DC said, okay, cool. You got me pissed. So, hey. He Chicago, also said that he had about eight, nine players come up to him uh, the next day at practice that were all mad for him. Yeah. Mad yeah. for him? Like, upset about it? Mm-hmm. Okay. They they took it personal? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Cool Kev says Stu's channel, Sag Nasty Sports. Book it. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, I like okay, yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have some good ideas, man. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like yeah. it. Um, Andy, my, my fault, my brother. I, I, there's just so much going on right now. But so okay, basically you were saying Leatherwood moved to right to right guard. Yeah, I feel like that's good for him, man. Like mm -hmm. it's just think about it, man. You're a rookie. And for the first, what, four weeks? I mean, look at the talent you went up against. Let's be honest, bro. Week one, Ravens, that was the worst talent that he played. But yeah. that was still good talent. Um, week two, you got TJ Watt and Melvin Ingram. Week three, you got, what's his name? Emmanuel Ogba. Yeah, I, and then you, then you got. Then and you then got, that rookie, rookie, whatever his name is. Um, uh, Jalen, uh, Jalen Phillips. Jalen Phillips, and then the week after that, you got, you Bosa, got uh, Bosa, and then you got and then you got Mac. Yeah, like it, it's <laughs> tough, man. It's tough. So I feel like with him moving a guard, I mean, it just it's just a it has to be a level of comfort knowing that you got a guy to your left and a guy to your right. And think about it, at guard, you may not always have a a person over you. Like at guard, you're not always gonna have a, a person over you. It might, it might be they might come out in a weird like dime. Where they only got three, you know, three, three uh down linemen. They got two DNs and a defensive tackle. At that point, that's gonna help him even better because he's not gonna block nobody there. Like he's just gonna be waiting for for uh, the DT to get pushed into him. You know, so it's like it's 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 better in my opinion. It's better for him not because of the run blocking, his run blocking was good. Um, I feel like one, that's going to help him with his run blocking. Um, but with, when it comes to pass, pass rush, it's just going to help him. He's just going to feel more comfortable, comfortable I just having somebody like, to his left and somebody having somebody to his right. I just don't like, and shout out to Dizzle. I'm, we're going to talk about that play, my brother. Um, I don't like that. It took for us to take an L for, for us to make this change though. We we had we had problems when we were three and oh. I, I don't uh, know why. We, I felt like we were we were gonna try and see how far yeah. we could get away with it. Yep. I was gonna say when you're winning, dude, like it, it covers up so many mistakes. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, but we won. It's working. Yeah. We won. So yeah, that's exactly it's good enough. Yep. It got it done, you know. Yep. You could sweep it under the rug, but when you lose, and that was your first loss. On prime time in a game that you had what eighty percent of the crowd, you know, then you really start to take a look. Like, okay, Go ahead, well, think about think about this. Let's say you're winning, right? And let's say in that third week they made that switch, and then they lost. You'd be like, listen, why are you switching stuff up when they were winning? And yeah. Now you switch it up and we lose. So it's it's a chance that coaches aren't going to take. Now that they lost, there's there's no one that can debate it. Like. Oh, yeah, you understand why you're making changes now, you know? Yeah, it makes sense. I just, 
I just wish we would have figured that out beforehand because I, I would definitely. But I feel like I feel like that's not even the biggest mistake we made. The biggest mistake is taking Jermaine Illuminor out the game. Yeah. Why are you benching Jermaine Illuminor? He's the second. He's the second highest graded uh, uh, offensive lineman on your line. Like yeah. just just behind Colton Miller, the man that you just paid what sixty million to. Like you, Jermaine Illuminor. Is our best. He's he's a tackle too. Like, but, but you keep John Simpson in. But you keep John Simpson in, who had a worse, even worse game. Thing is, man, Illuminor. If Brandon Parker does bad, Illuminor can go back to tackle. That's his nat- natural spot. He 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 was a tackle with every other team besides the Raiders. So out the squid, man. Bosa's mad. He'll never get a home game against us. What, 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 which one's the older Bosa? The one in San Diego? Yes. Yeah. Did they yeah. both go to Ohio State? Yeah, yeah. both of them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out to Chronicles, man. Fucking Shannon Sharp ripped Bosa. He did. He ripped the hell out of Bosa, bro. And I, I was shocked well, about that. Well, it's because what he say? Because because this is the thing. Even even DC said it. DC said I don't know what game he was watching, but I think he watched it backwards. Yeah. Like yeah. he he was like under. Pre- he said if I if I didn't do good under pressure, we came out second half down twenty one and almost came back. Like. How does that mean that you fold under pressure? Like it's the complete opposite. Like and Shannon, just, and Shannon Sharp Stu said pretty much um any quarterback, any quarterback, Tom Brady, anybody, if, if you're if there's so much pressure on you, you're gonna rather lay down than, than you know what I mean than, than, than get beat up. It just doesn't make any sense. Like at like, the end of the day, it's a business decision, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, like, dude. That's that's been going on for years. Bro, if DC goes down, our season's over. Done. Yeah, that's that's being a smart player. I mean, that's yeah. knowing you're who you're playing against. I mean, bro, all of our hearts fell down to our ass when we saw uh 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 DC uh go down against the Steelers, man. Look at Ruckus. What about Stu's clues? And you can dress like a big blue dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So we're at a 411 subscribers right now. We gotta get this at least to 600 tonight, y'all. 700. Let's what? run it up. This is this is Stu's channel right here. Oh Hold shit! On. Okay. Let's run oh, it up. Okay, Let's, we got. Okay, cool, man. I thank you guys. Let's get it up to six, seven hundred tonight. Okay, cool. That's that's good stuff. That's good stuff. I appreciate that. Bosa was um, also trashing the refs. Um, there's a good chance he'll get fined. He was on. The oh other- yeah, he was. He yeah. he was yeah. ripping the refs. He he. I don't. I still those Ohio State guys. They just. There's a little just something about them dudes that just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're entitled. <laughs> just they just kind of have they're just yeah, just a little bit of that. Well, him and his brother shit don't stink, you know what I'm saying? And him and his brother are weirdos anyway. They just see that you know what they seem kind of creepy to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. And you're not doing yourself any favor. Those refs are gonna remember that shit, dude. Hey, hey, Joey Bosa. Hey, give Mitchell Renz his face back, you motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. Keep that bullshit to a, to a minimum. Oh, hey, hey, Docs. Yo. You know what's funny? Do you guys go back and watch watch these and just, like, rewatch them? And I like to study these when I get done and see how, you know, everything was. There are so many things I missed during these things. There's a couple things that you said, Docs, on that, that big glass one that we had. That I didn't even catch. That was I can't think of what it was, but I was like, "Damn, there's some funny ass stuff going on in here." But there's just so many things going on. Sometimes we just don't even hear it. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what's so crazy? Oh, you're talking about on his uh 10K show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we we do so many shows that I'd never go back and watch anything. No, okay. There's just too much. It's just like this, bro. We do two, three hours. Like most people do a twenty minute, thirty minute live. Like, bro, we do hours upon we hours. Joe Rogan style, dude. Yeah, and, and we just and it's just natural and it flows. You feel me? See, so- but 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 that shit's fun though because look, that day where uh, it was the first day that I did a live for a game, bro. I was live four twenty three, four twenty three. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Whoa. Go, go ahead, my that, bad, my bad. No, I was saying that day went by so quick, man. Because I was live on your channel, then on my channel, then the game ended, then I was back on your channel. But it was nine hours of yeah. just live, bro. 
and that and that game that day went by so quick, and I'm like, damn, I gotta go to work tomorrow, bro. <laughs> like, like that shit was ass. I was like, man, but it was it was it went by quick. It went by super. So quick. when you when you go to work, do you, are, are people quizzing you all the time about what your thoughts were on everything? At about work, yeah. Nah, none of my none of my coworkers like sports. They're oh, weird. Really? Okay. <laughs> shout, shout out to OG. He liked the SS show too. Um, shout out to Raider Joe. He said, "Graph the, the Joe Rogan and Raiders YouTube, y'all appreciate it." Um, everybody's saying, "I just subbed the stew. I just subbed." So we're doing an a thousand. We're gonna we're gonna get you no know, eleven hundred. Get to eleven hundred. We're gonna do a signed jersey from Stu, and he's gonna send it off to y'all, man. So there we go. Raider Squid says, "Wipe and feet." Yes, you guys, wipe and feet. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys can, if you're not subscribed to me, hit the subscribe button and subscribe to both of my brothers. That, um, that's low key fire. Nine thirty show. I, yeah, I you know what I that is kind of dope, dude. Like, and I I can like put yeah I like it because I can also have a logo where it's my Purdue jersey and then the Raiders jersey next to each other. That is fire. Time. And then like Terrence said, you could do nine thirty in the morning shows. You could do nine thirty at night yep. shows. You know what I mean? You could you could switch it up here and there. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty good time too. Actually, that's pretty good. I I mean I I think that's pretty good. I like yeah. that. I like that. I like that. Let me see. Shout out to everybody in the chat. So, okay, I want you to first – this is the first play we want you guys to bring up, what we want you to bring up. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see the play where um, Hunter Renfro uh, – the, the punt exploded. The punt? Like, this just blew up. Yeah. Yes. Did you see that play? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Okay, what what what'd you – what'd you go – so we don't even have well, to run through that one. What, what did you think about that shit? I want to say real quick, I want to say what in the heck was the punt team doing when they had nobody out there covering them? Bro. Uh Gruden Gruden today said that uh they didn't they or I mean what's his name? Bradley. Bradley said that after the first, after the um after I think they ran a fake punt earlier in the year or something like that. Yeah, they yeah. were trying to figure out what alignment to be in. And he 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 kind of he he said that he got the guys confused whether he said some guys thought that they were gonna stay in the regular defense and some guys wanted to like thought that it was punt. So it was all fucked up. But then Renfro was out there and he said that uh was there eleven guys or was it only ten? It was eleven. Phil said ten guys on the field. Oh well then there you go. Okay, so that makes more sense then. Okay. Yeah. okay. So basically, so that makes that makes Hunter's play even more, even that more dope because he wouldn't clean somebody else's mess up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there should have been somebody out there. I mean, that's a that's a hot check. I mean, that's just a built-in call where they're like, hey, if if for whatever reason that there's someone out there, just get it and throw it out there to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hunter said that he got lucky that the that the punter hesitated a little bit. I'm just telling you, like the, the timing. Yeah. The angle where he had his head, um, it was, it was just, the perfect play. It was, dude. It was. I mean, it was just, uh, and that's the thing about, you know, a guy like him is it. I just like how he's, he's just a football player. You know what I'm saying? Like he just, he's just, he's always seems to be in that right spot and make the play. Like when it's his time to make the play, he's usually the one that's making the play. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Facts. And I like that Greg Olson today said that that he feels like it's kind of disrespectful towards Hunter Renfro now that he's not being talked about and regarded as like one of the best slot corners, if not the best slot, uh, slot receivers in the NFL. Well, there's one reason. I <laughs> yeah, I think I think we all know. I think we all know what the reason is. You know, it's just that he's just an ordinary looking little white dude. You know yeah. what I mean? He's he's. He's he's not the flashiest guy, you know. I mean, he's just he's just. Bro, bro, he's made some splash plays though that that yes. go, that goes way under the radar, man. Like I remember last year, this dude caught a jump ball in between, literally on two Patriots players right before halftime, and that shit just not no nobody cared. I know it's not. It's just. But if, but if Odell <laughs> Beckham. Fodell Beckham made that catch. I, I oh my god! And I, I will tell you this: I guarantee you too. When he doesn't make a play, they're going to be a little bit harder on him than another guy who they wouldn't they would give a, a benefit of the doubt to. I feel like they'd be like, "What the fuck?" You know what I'm saying? Nah, not with Renfro. No, he's, nah, he he's no. that guy for us. He's that guy. 
Yeah. I mean, but look, at the end of the day, I mean, Cooper Cup's a white boy too, and he's killing it. You know, what I mean, for uh... the Rams and right, hey, Russell Wilson just broke his uh, broke his uh, finger. Yeah, but isn't that isn't really he taller? Yeah. Isn't he a, isn't he taller though? Cooper uh, Cup. Well, he goes on the outside and on the slide. Yeah, he goes. Yeah, from, it's just know. he's he's a little more. You know, he 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 looks he looks more like a, a wide receiver. I think even just being a little bit bigger and just I mean, Hunter Renfro looks like he's like twelve. I mean, he does. I mean, he just look he just looks. And I'm not talking trash, but it's just one of those things where you just you just kind of like and you you expect him to make those plays. So him making those big plays just become like they you know it's just like well, that's what Hunter does. You know, he does his job and we know he's going to do it. Yeah, he's not flashy and unfortunately, kind of sucks. Yeah. A little bit to have that, but it's it's good at the same time because it, it carries a lot more weight in the coaching world. But as far as publicity and 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 that type of marketing stuff, it doesn't really help you. Phil said, "Cup is four inches taller, 20, uh, 20 pounds heavier." There yeah. you go. <laughs> That's a that, that makes a difference, dude. Hey, I'm I'm getting a Renfro. I already made my mind up. I'm getting a Renfro jersey at Allegiant Stadium. On That's pretty. That, That's pretty dope. I'm I, I might. I might try to find a Clemson one. Bro, what the hell is going on? Bro, I, I can't be the only one to think those Seahawks color rushes are ugly as hell, man. What I, 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 I think every I think every jersey's ugly. Other than Dude, what's all, up with so. the Rams jerseys? Why are they like yellow? Like the white they're, like a, they're horrible. Horrible. They changed they, they it was what last year that they got the new jerseys. These are uh, I don't know. Cause I liked I liked when they did like the 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 just the traditional like that yellow and that old royal blue or when they went with white and blue like I like those old. And hey, y'all got it. I wish everybody Andy could see our chat, bro. Our our little chat, bro. I swear, I see be flaming X with that nine shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to I see. He is nonstop with that. He is nonstop with that shit, bro. That shit is hilarious, dog. Shout out to I see. I'm trying to um, find shout- it. I'm trying huh? to find a, a one of the a, a Raider play from last week. Oh shit! My bad, y'all. Or or how about yeah? How about we look at the like how you said Raiders versus Chargers highlights? It's only twelve minutes. Yeah, we can and we could break yeah. down the the play that yep. they show. All right, let, let me answer this real quick, y'all. It's AP nine. Hold it real quick. Oh shit! I hung up. Never mind. It's all good. Hey, shout out to Ali real quick. Hey, Docs, what's up? My what my what's up? My opinion. O line biggest issue. Left tackle Miller. Left guard Illuminar. Center Martin. Keep on. Andre as a backup. Right guard Leatherwood. Right tackle Parker. Thoughts? I'm not putting I mean, Illuminar point, man, or left guard. I, I just, wait, wait, wait. Is he saying okay? O line's biggest issue. That, that means that's everyone, right? Is he? That's. I mean, yeah. No, I think he's trying to state the offensive line is the biggest issue, and then he was trying to put his depth chart of what the offensive line should be. I want to bring up Morrissey, Uh-oh. man. Okay. I want to bring up Morrissey. I'm bro. very happy that the reporter uh, mentioned Morrissey two weeks, two two press conferences in a row. I'm happy that they brought his name up because they had that has to be in the back of their minds right now, man. It has to, bro. Like he because here's good. my thing. Go ahead. There's no way that you can be. Four weeks in, and you move your first round pick inside, and you're not thinking about mo- and, and you're not thinking about replacing Andre. He's had four horrible games. Yeah. So Which Andre. Which one's Andre? Andre the James, center. the center. He's bad, man. Bad. <laughs> he is, dude. I mean, bro. But my is- only my this is the thing. Morrissey fits perfect. Morrissey fits perfect for the zone. For the zone scheme, but if we try and say that Morrissey has to uh uh be in the power scheme, we're fucked. I like that feel. Cole Miller, Alex Leatherwood, Andre James uh, slash Morrissey. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold on, hold on. So the center, you're saying either Andre James or Morrissey. Illuminor at right guard, Parker. So you want him at the right at right guard and Leatherwood at left guard? That's fine. I, I I feel like I feel like like that. You're putting your best guys out there, um, but I feel like I feel like almost if Brandon. I feel like this is the thing. I think it's good and bad that Illuminor isn't playing. It's good because 
Um, if the fact that he's not playing, you have a security blanket for Brandon Parker because if Brandon Parker looks trash, put a Luminor in, and if John Simpson looks trash, put a Luminor in. You know, a Luminor's hurt. No, a Luminor. A Luminor. Uh, we signed him. Uh, right after our what our last preseason game. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's right. I do remember that. I remember that. Yeah. No. No. Did, did we did we sign him after uh, Denzel Good went down? Right. No. Oh. Oh. I think we did. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah, yeah you're, right, you're right. You're right. You're right. Right. Yeah. We signed him with Good went down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like Leatherwood at left guard, so he's next to Colton. And yeah, I like what Phil and Sean said with that because you want to beef up that left side. Because shit, you know, I I think the reason why they're keeping Simpson there and moving him to right is because they're still hoping on a Richie return. Yeah, because then Richie returns, you're gonna have to move uh um part not Parker uh Leatherwood back to the right. Yeah, yeah. I'm just well, telling you, Leatherwood needs to get off that right tackle spot, dude. He 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 just well he is he's off. Yeah, I know he just doesn't he doesn't have he just does not have that. That line, that what would you call it? Not yeah, vertical, straight back speed, dude. To be able to, to, but that's the thing though. This footwork was so elite. I'm yeah. thinking that this man is gonna do great. But like, you really look at his footwork, man. You really look at that man's footwork, bro. Like it was amazing. Like you would see him. I thought that he was gonna have a tough time transitioning from left tackle to right tackle. You look at him. Bro, his footwork was just – it was it was right there. You know what? That's a good point because a lot of times he's getting beat with his upper body, his hands. Yeah, you're right. The strip sack that Bosa got. I know. He, I, he, did, he did the worst thing that you can do, man. He put his hands out before Bosa even attempted a move. Yeah. You're just giving Bosa a target at that point, man. And what's Bosa – What both of the Bosas, their favorite move is that double hand swipe. Like, bro. They're going to get you on that all day. And what's great about Leatherwood on the inside is this dude's reach is super long. That'll help him, especially in the run game. Hey, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. If you guys can stop what you're doing real quick, subscribe to my brothers. Go hit Stu's channel. Like I said before, we get it to 1,100. He's going to be giving away a signed jersey. Um, Man, go to Andy's channel, man. Hit the sub button as well. And if you guys can, if you're not subscribed to my channel, Hit the subscribe button. Hey, Phil, check your inbox on, on Instagram, my brother. And um, Sunday, me and Andy will be doing the game together. So, Hell yeah. Yeah, live streaming for sure. I will definitely be watching that while I watch the game. Um, let me see, man. So, Leatherwood. Yes, Leatherwood gets beat with his hands. I, I was going to say, Pause. Here, take a look at take a look at that third and, <laughs> that third and three. Is it's it, on the highlight? Yeah, it's in the uh, – <laughs> if we're looking at this – is the is the highlight you're looking at? Um, how how long is it? Third and three or third and four? Sorry, sorry. Third, third and three. When, when I think when he took the sack, right? No, no, no. It, we don't even come close on the run. It's not the sack. Oh, is that? Oh, that's the one we went when we went for it on fourth down. The next play. What? Uh, I'm almost there. Hold on one second. Yeah, we went for it on that fourth and still. Are made. you watching off the highlights or what? Do you what? Do you watch? the highlights? Yeah, the 12 minute highlight. Okay. Hey, Andy, is all 22 back yet, bro, or not? Fuck no. For right, real? Okay. okay. 130, 130, the one minute 36 mark on the highlight, not the game clock, but 136. Oh, 136. Okay. It's a third and two. Okay. I thought it was third and three. Third. No. Man, the, the thing about all 22 is that, like, Bro, you could it, like if we wanted to, we could all put the all twenty two up. But there's like, cause cause um the NFL or YouTube is not gonna trip off the all twenty two. Yeah. So, but they don't. They fucking they don't have it, man. So so they took all twenty two down, Stu. Oh. So dumb. It's really it hard to find what it. Was it. What was it on? It was uh, NFL Game Pass. Yeah. Oh. Wait 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 wait. Is it in the second quarter that you're watching? No. It's uh yeah second quarter twelve. When- Four on the game clock, but one thirty-three on the highlight on the highlight clock. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Sorry, Where? yeah, yeah. Do you have it up, Docs? No, I don't. I'm looking okay. for it right now. One thirty-two on the highlight clock is third and fifteen for me. Hold on. Which okay, okay. 
I'm just doing I'm doing the one off the Raiders website. Off the Raiders uh, website. Hey, hey, this is dope, Stu. Look, look, look. What? Shout out to Auntie Six. Stu, I just thought of your name for your show. It should be Stu. I have the greatest tight end in NFL history's number, aka Tony Gonzalez. Your logo will be you standing over Tony as you knock him out in KC. Oh my God. <laughs> Talk that shit, Auntie. Let's go. I still, I still, I still. That hasn't been put up yet, right? It didn't go through, did it? It went through, I think, on Instagram, maybe, but it didn't go through on my my uh, YouTube. I don't. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yeah, on. that shit would be fucking funny, man. Yeah, I mean, oh, I mean, hey, happy ahead. birthday! Hey, happy birthday to Charles Woodson. Yes, the goat. The goat. The goat. Yeah, happy yes. birthday there. I just talked to um, what's what's in whiskeys today, man? I'm I'm gonna go uh pull up on Cody's show Saturday or Sunday. And go check out, go check them out, man. Shout out to Charles Woodson, man, the goat of this shit. Hell yeah. Let me see. Did you find it, Andy? Mm-mm. Man, yeah, Are bro. you watching off of YouTube? I need to hit up San Jeep, no, bro. No, San Jeep still be having hell of footage. I did. I just it's on the Raiders. If you go to the Raiders website, just go to highlights and it's the 12-minute highlight up, cut up of the of the of the highlight. Well, I'm watching off of YouTube off the NFL. Okay. 1255. But they probably you don't. Know what, you know what, Stu? Go to that because they okay. show they don't just show Raider uh, like the good plays. They show shit where we got we got burnt out too. So mm -hmm. go to YouTube. Yeah, go to YouTube and, and go to NFL, and okay. then um yeah, and they'll they'll have all the yeah. The San G got a all twenty two plug or something, dog. Yeah, for real. NFL Network. What was it at, Andy? The um. NFL oh, it's on the NFL like regular NFL page. If you just put Raiders versus Chargers, okay. Should be the first one that pops up. Damn, is that Geno Smith, dog? God. Bro, he, he broke his finger. Russell broke his oh, finger. Oh, he's, right? he's gripping the ball, though. He's chilling. Okay, um, let's see. 1255, you you saw it? So it's, it's, Okay, so did you go? It said, okay, this says Raiders this one. Chargers full game recap. This one. 12, 12 minutes, 8 seconds. Oh, no, okay, wait, hold on. That's Okay, okay, all right, I got it. Casey Hayward's late for these charges. Shut up. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Tycho, that's facts. You, you don't get copyright issues when you when you pay because it's because it's you're paying for the all twenty two. Yeah. How, how much is it? It's not. It's like it was like a hundred for like three months or some shit like that. I don't know. So like, oh, psh, that's worth it, and you can you can show the whole game. Yeah, all 22. Like, you got all the film. And you oh, have yeah. access to every team. Yeah. And is it like the cut? And it goes back. It goes back, I think, until 2010. Bro, you could you, – everything. You can look over the whole field. Yeah. Okay. I but can't, took it off. I can't see shit on here, man. They're so close. Yeah, Alex, Russ, Russell Wilson is out. Uh, he, he hurt his finger. Geno Smith. Wait, just type in Raiders versus Chargers, man. It should pop up. I have Ooh. it. I have it. What up, okay. what up? What's up, brother? Shit, I can't call. It. Just Yo, another day out here talking Raiders. What's up, Stu? Andy? What's good? Bro, I just seen your message on Tuesday about the uh, recap show. I want to go send you that. I want to go send you the uh, send you the stream here. I'm like, oh shit! Did you already do it? Yeah. I'm late as fuck, bro. Terrible. That's, that's why. That's why I shot you the number because I figured uh, when uh, I was talking to Stu the other day and he was telling me Facebook and Instagram was down, so down, I was like, man. I figured that's probably what it was. I don't know what was yeah, going yeah. on, dude. I don't even think it's showing this play on on these highlights. Yeah, I don't think so either. Well, hey, real quick, skip it. Skip it. Hey, Phil, hey, let everybody know because uh, let them know about the new article that you just dropped. Um, I know it's been out now for a few days, but. Um, let everybody know where they can see you at, bro. With some of your work, man. Oh, you can check me out at uh, Raider Ramble. That's where you'll catch all my latest work. Uh, the latest work that I did was the uh, are the charge. Can the Chargers handle the Raiders' defense? Obviously, they didn't have too much trouble, but <laughs> that, that's that's being <laughs> that's being funny. But actually, they really did. When you look at it, they only threw for two hundred twenty-two yards, and yeah, Austin Eckler got loose, and that that's going to be a problem moving forward is that run game on the left on the right side of the defense but uh they were able to they they still played a pretty solid game and they came out and they shut the chargers out for 
a quarter and a half coming out of the halftime break. So uh, you, your offense is good. Your offense has got to do more. They, mm-hmm. but, Way more. Yeah, a lot more. Definitely. That's definitely. <laughs> but, hey, what, what do y'all think, real quick, while Stu's bringing that up, what did you guys think of – because Honcho, he had a different – he had a different opinion last night on our show, and I was shocked. I, I thought that Amik played a hell of a game, right? Well, yeah, definitely held it down. Hancho said he didn't see it that way. He said that he's seen Amik give up five, uh, five up, uh, five receptions on five pass. I'm like, bro, he shut down Mike Williams. Mike Williams had one catch for 11 yards. Bro, what? Amik gave up one reception, I think. <laughs> right. And we we gonna have to we gonna have to go live on Hancho one of these days. I'm, I I got I got to get that explanation again because he was like I didn't see I didn't think Amik did good. Bro, where what game was he watching? I don't know, but I know I know Amik bought out. Amik yeah, didn't give up no what what yeah, yeah. Amik was holding his own. Thanks, hey, Phil. Yeah. Is this is this your web? Is this your is this whole thing you or are you on this on this uh, Raiders ramble? Is that all you the whole thing? Uh, no, that's not on me. That's a that's a site I contribute to. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hancho definitely watched the game in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? what? Like what? He didn't give up five receptions. Oh my god! Yeah, I, I seen one for one for eleven. That's what I seen with Mike Williams, bro. I seen that. That's all I see. All I seen. Bro, so, I, I think he only gave up one pass. Yeah. That was the one for what the, I think that was the one for eleven, and then on the and then on the little flare route, uh, he pushed him out of bounds. It was an overthrow. What, dude? I like this website, man. That you guys got some some good stuff on here. Yes, sir. They, they it's a lot of quality writing. Uh, the editor is a personal friend of mine, Mario Tovar, and uh, they be we've been doing it for a long time. I, I've been writing with him off and on, probably going back to about twenty seventeen. Yeah, you got you got you got the different decades and Terrence just posted that right here. This is cool. It's kind of tough to uh, judge. What's that? Sorry, Stu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the aftermath. That's what. That's when his (laughs) eyes were going. His eyes were going two different ways. (laughs) I love that shit. Um, Let me see. Shout the captain, man. OGs in the uh, in the chat, man. It's hard to hey. It, it must be hard to judge stats for our for our team, especially yeah. especially since we're a zone team, you know. So PFF, it might be hard for them to try and distinguish whose man it actually was when you're all in zone. Hold on, what play are you talking about? No, because I'm the, the he was saying that they gave up five five for fifty or something like that. He never gave that up. Motherfucking bro, Gino Smith threw a goddamn dot. Yeah, he did. Ruckus <laughs> laid it right there for him too. Hey, real quick, shout out to Q. Hey, Ruckus, you stupid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Q said a meet gave up a couple catches to Keenan Allen in the slot. I don't remember that, bro. Like, I don't remember that. They, they were pro- if in the slot. Yeah, he know. wasn't in the he slot. In the slot. Why don't we I was in the slot the whole game? Play, yeah. yeah, he played. He played the whole game. Guys, let let's see if let's have someone pick a play and let's all let's all just let's all go to it and take a look. Okay, well then they have to pick it off off that that highlight video. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so look, yeah, if y'all want us to go over a play, pick from that video right there. Go through it and pick from that video, and we'll talk about it. But nah, I don't remember a meek. What? Yeah, I don't remember that. TS said he gave up. He gave up the cross to Keenan. What quarter? What quarter is this? Cross to Keenan. I don't remember that, bro. I, I I don't. The only cross that I saw Keenan Allen on was the one that Denzel Perryman picked up, yeah. and uh, and Keenan dropped it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so, hey, but one thing I did realize too when Arnett was in there. He was like playing a t- an entirely different defense than everybody else, dude. He, he, was, he was doing his own thing, literally his own thing. Yeah. Everybody else was playing zone. He was in man. Man, that's crazy, bro. He Wait, really? Crazy. I didn't notice that. I yeah, didn't. No, so, so Hancho brought it to my attention, and what? I went back last night and I looked at the film, bro. He was literally playing man while everybody else was playing zone. What happened? How come he was getting so much burn? Because he's terrible. Uh, 
no, no, no I, why was he playing so much? Oh, because our because our, our starter went down, Mullen went down okay. with a foot injury. I'm telling you, I, I like Littleton. Littleton, that dude is a nice tackler, dude. He, he was shitted on all last year. What's that? He was, he, was, tired. he was getting roasted by everybody last year. We finished with like everybody in the games. like the fan base did not like him. No. He played a hell of a game uh, against the Chargers. Oh yeah, yeah, he did. Is he a, is he a safety or is he a linebacker? He's a linebacker, two hundred twenty pound inside linebacker. But he was playing like from some depth, man. I thought he was coming down from free safety. Well, no, no, it's because with Gus Bradley's uh, his cover three. He Thank has a linebacker. He, unless he's in the base, the, the two middle linebackers will be right next to each other. But when he's in the nickel, he'll have a linebacker in the middle, and then he'll have one guy right, like, kind of hovering behind him yeah. just to make sure that that, that that crosser doesn't get by. Low, he's kind of a low hole guy. All right. Does anyone got a play? Did, anyone come, did anyone give a play yet? We got Stu to 443 right now. All right. 443. You got to okay. at least get to 500. Come on, man. Oh, oh, okay. I thought, of, okay. I thought you were talking about something else. And, and and another thing while we're here, too, let's get unfiltered truth to 500 subs tonight, you guys. We are four, we're, we're about 30 something away. Let's get 500 tonight. 500 Please. tonight, y'all. Go to unfiltered Please truth. Do. Yeah, I, actually, I'm, I'm going to do that right now, too. Unfiltered truth. Get it, get, get my bot, get my guys, man, to 500 subscriber hey so i did this thing last night i see you 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 commented on it phil i i i kind of went over my my list and i know a lot of people in the chat already seen this but i want to do said it 420 time. on the on the highlight hey hey oh did they oh, okay i appreciate you but so why are you doing that still i want to read this real quick yeah i want to read this um yeah go to unfilter it's right here boom terrence got it up that's the link let's get our brother to 500 tonight so I read this last night on Hancho's channel, but I want to read this with you guys too because not everybody got a chance to see it. So you guys know I want to do the Raiders Content Creator Awards, right? I told you, Stu. Mm -hmm. Yep, um, yep. I want, to, I want to do something where we can just honor all of our people, man. You know what I mean? I'm not in any of the, um, I'm not in any of the categories. I just want to just give praise to my guys. Um, actually, you'll hear about me in one. So I have my, I have my personal... My personal opinions on these, but we're gonna do a list. So I'm gonna put a list of guys in each section, okay? So this is this is what it is. All right, the Raiders content creators. I got rookie of the year. All right. I got Hancho. Hancho came in one year, 9,000 subscribers, killing it. Ooh, shout out to my brother Hancho, smoking shit. That's clearly to me the rookie of the year. Um, the IG God Award. That means the IG Raider God, Raider Scout. Go. Raider Scout slash, if you have to go, 1A, 1B is Raider Ring. What's IG? What's IG? Instagram. Instagram. You old motherfucker, man. Hey. Um, uh, look, Twitter God, the Twitter God Award, right? That goes to Raider Cody and Kenny King because they're always on Twitter and they be ruffling everybody's feathers, and I love every fucking second of it. Um, the Talk That Shit Award. God. I don't know why. I get that the spotlight because I love, bro. He be losing his shit on the internet, bro. And it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> spotlight be on there flashing, bro. He be ready to have a heart attack on that motherfucker. Dynamic Duo Award, Unfiltered Truth. My brother's Phil and Phil. The Dynamic Duo. Right, on Batman. <laughs> the Grind Don't Stop Award. Pretty much somebody that just uploads more than anybody. That goes to Mitchell Renz. Uh, the Raider Report, man. My brother Mitch just dropped so much shit. I got to give it to him. I, I, I thought that would have been you. I, I can't give myself that, man. I, I got to give it to Mitch. Um, Legends Never Die Award. So the legends of this shit, Mikey Raider, Oakland Knight, Watts Raider, and Samoan Raider. All mm -hmm. legends never die. All you got to give them their flowers. They've been doing this shit for a long time. If it wasn't for them, a lot of us probably would never be on YouTube. Um, the Film God Award. Film Breakdown Award. Ray the Tape, Sanjeet. Take Don't Lie, Carl from Raiders Film. Mm -hmm. um, on the Come Up Award goes to Andy, Icy, and Wi-Fi. So that's the next guys up. So that, that's that's my list for On the Come Up. Andy, Icy, and Wi-Fi. Um, Andy, bro, in another year or two, you're going to own YouTube, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, the Facebook God Award. A lot of people don't be on Facebook. 
I gave this to my boy Raider Bear. For those who don't know, he has a Facebook uh, show and he be talking mad shit. So Wait, I you're doing? I thought you were gonna make a video about this. I am. This is just my list. Those, these are the categories, but these are the people I chose. But everybody is good. I'm gonna put polls up, and everybody gets to pick who they want. Oh, okay. So this is just like my bro. The Rams are just fucking marching down this. Yeah. Yep. The Blog King Award goes to the blogs. Just blog, baby. Raiders wire, silver and black pride, and the Raider ramble. All right. So that's gonna be the list. That's gonna be the list right there. Um, the Fire Trio Award. Three people's Murph's Fan Cave. I love what them boys do over there. It's three of them. They talk mad shit. Um, the best live show. I didn't put anybody there, but I'm just gonna say it rhymes with traffic. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, here's I just thought of one. Do you have best show, best stream? Yeah, yeah that's right there. Best he live. Just show. Said it. Oh, he did. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. he said uh, it rhymes with traffic. Rhymes Which with one traffic. Is it? it rhymes with traffic. Graphic. Respect your OGs award. I have to get. I have to give Captain Jack and, and OG Daniel a, their own award, man, because I love them, man. Those guys do their thing. They're active every day. I love them to death. Um, the in the field award. In the field award means they're always on the front line at games, all that other shit. For those who don't know, go check out For Life, our Raiders story. My boy Thor and them. They are at every game, active as fuck. You gotta give them that. Um, and. Uh, the Maniac McGee Award goes to Stu. What is that? What is that? What is what's that? Just crazy as fuck, bro. <laughs> and, I, and I love it. I love it. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. The best meme. The best meme goes to Raiders Post. Raiders Post is the Raider meme god. The Raider meme god. Um, I did put tape. Don't lie on there, brother. No, you uh, didn't. I, I, didn't I, I did. I said, uh. I said, hold on. I said, uh, the film, a film breakdown award. Raid, Sanjeet, Tape, Don't Lie, and Carl from Raiders Film. Oh. Yeah. Hey, did you did you find the play, Stu? Oh, sorry. Are you guys ready? I was. It's I was, it's, it's, it's like four sixteen. So it's a it's it's a it's yeah. It's third and ten. It's an empty set. It did they did they have a question about it? It's not an empty set. No. At four at four twenty. Is it four twenty? I thought that's what you said. No. Yeah, it is. Hold on. Or oh, I'm sorry. Okay, no, no, no. Is it okay? I'm stuck with thinking the Raiders' offense. Does he want to see the Raiders' defense? It's a defensive play. It's a defensive play. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. All right, so this is a first and ten. Yep. Let's take a look. Little play action, and it's a sticks route. Okay. But what did he say about it? What does he want to know? He wants to know, but guess guess who that pass was caught on? Well, yeah, it was our Ohio State daddy. <laughs> Terrence um, gets his own award. Terrence gets his own award. He is the GOAT of the chat. Mm -hmm. GOAT. GOAT, GOAT. So, I mean. Because when I'm watching that play, I see everybody else doing their job. And they just picked on somebody. And their player made a play. That's what I saw. I don't even know what the fuck y'all watching right now. Well, because it, <sighs> it wasn't bad coverage. Well, I'm watching. I'm watching the other corner, and he's he's playing more like a, a three a cover three corner drop where yeah the other guy's doing a man turn and turning his back to the quarterback. And in his zone, you want to keep that receiver in front of you. Yeah. So. I mean, I mean, he was on him, mm -hmm. uh, but it was, it's a good timing route. That was a good thrown ball. I mean, I think you should fight a little bit more for it, but I'm thinking if it's cover three, which let me take a look here again. I mean, he should it not. Was. It was. He should not be, first of all, pressed up like that. On first well, day. well, in, uh, in this defense, it is a press bail. Oh, yeah. Hey, Cap, I'll be he out this been. Saturday. I'll be standing but, but the day. Bale, well, the guy did have an outside release. I mean, I actually, I mean, it was. It was just like he made a play. That's it. Yeah. 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 You know, but, and coincidentally, it was on the guy that fucks up a lot. So. That's just. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just, that shit will happen. You know what I'm saying? And like, it was, to be honest with you, I mean, he had good coverage. If that's, I mean, I, I'm. 
I'm not going to break his balls on that. Right. I, I swear. What, what play was that, Andy? It was at 4.15. Yeah, like 4, yeah, 4.15, 4.20 or something. Okay, here, I remember this play. It was second and two. We just had a blown assignment. Okay. It's, uh, let's see, four minutes and like 38 or something like that. Or in, hold on. In the, four, in the, 440. Go to 440. Okay. We had a blown assignment. Their their fullback goes up the seam for like 40 yard, 30 yards. Wait, four? What was it? Four what? Four forty. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Yep. Yep. Let's see. Well, okay. Let's. It. It looks to me that the person who's supposed to have them is. So if you look. There's a blown coverage. Oh, hold on. Okay. All right. So my body's about to fuck up. It was okay. This is a different play. All right. Here we go. Um. Okay. So we got. Four down. Okay, you got Abram. Abrams is is down here left, right? Yeah. Okay. Who's the Who's the will up there? Um, that with, is with white Perryman. socks. Oh, white socks with the all white socks. Yeah, that's Nate Hobbs. He's he's your slot corner. Okay, so that's our that's our kind of our nickel guy. Okay. Yeah. It looks to me so. When initially when I saw it, it looks like he. Yeah, we, we gotta we gotta hey bro we gotta show we gotta show this shit. I know we gotta show this shit. People people are like what the fuck are we talking about? I know we sound like a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah. happened, this happened on this play and that motherfucker I, ran into his own man. I'd be like, I, like fuck why these guys are fucking giving me a headache. I'm well, about here, to, here, I, I, okay, well look guys, if y'all wanna follow, search up Raiders versus Chargers highlights. <laughs> And go to 440. <laughs> okay. Go to 440. Everybody's well, like, this play yeah. right here is completely it's Hobbs. Completely yeah. Hobbs. Yes. Hobbs has him. Um, and he's coming in and he's he in this play, it's a short yardage, and he's not he's not reading runner pass from the offensive lineman, which you can't read runner pass from the quarterbacks or running backs. And uh, it's bad eyes. And he comes down thinking it's you know, he's worried about. You know, getting down there and 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 uh, getting the tackle before the first down, but that guy going up there—that's him. That's that's the nickelback completely. Which, in 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 Hobbs case, is understandable. This is his first year in the nickel, so yeah. he's yeah. Getting, he's getting used. He's getting used to having to play the run, you know. And it was him and Perriman who had the fullback and running back, so. He, you run a combo, and maybe he didn't know it was a combo. Maybe he thought the fullback was going to be taken by Perriman, and he had the, the tailback or something, too. You know, who, who knows? But there was miscommunication or the other bad eyes, and maybe a little combination of both. Because it's going to a scoring play that they'll all be able to understand. Well, well, there's a touchdown you know, this is, you know, two plays later. Thing. Yeah, the touchdown two plays later, um, it, was, it was Jonathan Abrams' fault. You know, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember what play that was. It's uh, it's at four. Let's see. It's on the ten yard line. Um, four fifty six. Yeah. Let's see. They're in a they're in a zone. God, you just can't see anything, man. It's just God. The hate this camera's angles. Yeah, the TV angle sucks. I've been waiting for all twenty two. I know, bro. We, we was just talking about like, what the fuck, like, what's going on with that, bro? And they don't, they don't they show up from different angles or anything either. Like, at least show a replay of the touchdown. Yeah. Phil, have you heard anything about that, bro? Not a damn thing. The only thing I heard about this is this: the NFL's best scam going. They charge it everybody a hundred bucks up front. You don't get all twenty-two. The last I heard, you got to buy some type of pro package to get it. What really? I'll buy that yeah. shit. That was the last I heard. I haven't seen it. I I even tried to I even tried to go through the uh the digital the digital the registered website to get it. Nothing. I'll try. I'll pay for a pro what's package. It to get what's, it? It? what's it called? What they, what do you call that program? No, it's it, it'd be for it's NFL. It's for NFL digital media. Oh, okay. Hey Phil, have you wrote anything yet for the for the Bears game? No, not yet. 
what what do you what do you think while while we're doing this? What do you think about this game, bro? What what are what do we need to do in order to 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 get through this team? I know right now, man. You know, Chicago leads the league in sacks. The defense is is low key. You know, low key getting it together. Finally, they started off slow. One sack in week one. Now they got fifteen. Oh. Um, they're the thirtieth, I believe, ranked um, passing team. I believe. Or just offense in general. They're not a good passing team, man. Yeah, they have they, no, uh, they have no running backs. David David Montgomery's gonna be out. Damian Williams is beat up. Let's uh, put it like this. I think the Lions had four consecutive drives where they held them to zero points. Like the Lions. Yeah. That are missing what's his name? Um I don't know. He just was named out for the season. I don't know. Well, I, I honestly don't think that this game should be a problem for us. What do you think, Phil? What, what do you think about this game, bro? Moving forward, like what? How do you, this old line, bro, is bad, bro. Like, like what? What do you? What do you see? Is 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 is, is the the keys to winning on Sunday? So uh, the keys, the, there are three keys to winning, and, and it's real simple: block, tackle, execute. <laughs> that's what they. That's what they need to do to win. This should, by all, by for all intents and purposes, this should be a gimme game. Uh, the the Bears' offense is terrible. Their offensive line is awful. And David Bad. Montgomery was their shining, their shining light. He's hurt. Uh, I was hoping that they would have kept Andy Dalton as a starter, but they're already going. They're going to fields, so that that's gonna get that's gonna get the Raiders a little bit of trouble. But you double. I think that's better for us. I don't. They they're given they've given up 123 yards on the ground to quarterbacks. Damn, quarterbacks alone, 123 yards. The Bears? Yeah. No, the Raiders. Oh, I thought you said the Bears. No, the Raiders have given up 123 yards to quarterbacks. But but, 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 but let's let's be honest. We played Lamar. Lamar, Lamar had 86. Yeah, we played Lamar right. Jackson. So that, that, what, do, what else do the Bears have? But Fields, this dude, they're not they're not gonna win the game by Fields running for 86 yards. Like yeah, hey, he's building a rapport with Mooney. Mooney looked really good last week. Uh, right. uh, uh Allen Robinson had finally had a really good game. He, he's had a slow season thus far. He has one TD, I believe, with like 200 something yards receiving. Um, he, he's starting to build that rapport with Fields. I mean uh, Cole Komet, he, he's been having a terrible year, but at some point he's going to want to pick it up. You know what I mean? Because let's be honest, a tight end is always a rookie quarterback's security yes. blanket. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, look, we we can't look, we can't bypass these guys. Like we we can't look at these guys as no punks. I mean, they're old line. I just bad. I just feel like when you're facing a rookie quarterback, you're almost guaranteed a, a turnover by him. Like that's why I'm not worried. That's not that. Like you win the turnover battle, you you. You know, percentages of winning the game goes up. Eddie Jackson is having a very bad year. Terrible. Um, Field is a young QB. Bradley is going to have to have to confuse him. So I'm saying your D, your defensive coordinator is going up against a first year quarterback. He is going to fuck him up. Yeah. But hey, Robert Quinn is looking really good on that edge. Mac is still on that edge. <laughs> so so. Who who goes on Mooney, Amik or or Casey? Uh, I'm putting Casey on. I'm putting on, Casey on on Mooney. Okay. I'm putting him on Al Robinson. No, yeah. I'm putting Amik on Mooney. Yeah. Robinson Robinson's more proven, bro. Like you got you want to put your more proven corner on him. Put Casey yep. on. Him. But I just feel like, you know, with with Mooney being being there, like Justin Fields' guy, I feel like you want your Best corner to be on his guy. Hey, Raider 805. Hey, hey. Welcome uh, to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Bye bye. Farewell from the channel, motherfucker. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. My bad. Uh, I, I had I had to shoot I, one, I had to shoot one of our own in the head. Uh, you ahead. know, sometimes they be acting right, they be acting up and they get what's coming. Yeah, I had to shoot but, one uh, of our own in the head. It, it always hurts when you have to kill one of your own, man. <laughs> Sucks, man. But hey, that's the go. Go ahead, bro. He do. What did he do? I, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say, fuck it. Bring Abram and Hobbs on a blitz every other play. <laughs> probably but those are missiles. 
But Gus Who's ain't gonna Gus ain't gonna do that though. No, he's not. He might. he might. Real quick, let me read these supers real quick. Shout out to my auntie. Auntie, you know you you know you can stop doing that. You don't have to send me no money. She said, I told Uncle what you said about the Raiders getting spanked. He matched me on the ten dollars. Said that the Raiders got spanked a little bit harder. I told him you loved him. He said he loves you too. Shout out to my uncle Ant, man. He's a Niners fan, diehard Niner fan. Shout out to my aunt Kimberly. She's a diehard Raider. So Niners have diehard fans. Hey, no, no. My uncle Ant, bro, since I've been yeah. a baby, he's diehard oh. Niner. Diehard. Um, but they still trash. Shout out to my aunt. Shout out to my auntie. Love you, auntie. Uh Raider Rich. Raiders need to come out in the spread and use it as their running game. I like that. I said that, man, when you don't have a consistent running game, those screen passes, that weird route concept design that he ran with Zay Jones, you run that for mm-hmm. and Drake, that mm-hmm. becomes your run game. Um, it has to be your run game. When you don't have the personnel to run up the gut, you got to find different ways to get these guys to pick up three to four yards. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I just <sighs> – I don't know, man. What do you what do you think? Who are who are the three X factors for this Sunday? And I'm talking about player wise. I'm talking about somebody because I feel like Kenyon Drake. It's that time to have a game. Like have a game, bro. I think it's Renfro, Renfro, and Renfro. Oh shit! The camera between. So you so you picked our best defensive player and best offensive player. Yep. <laughs> Another Renfro and special teams player. And yeah. special, God damn, bro. That's uh, terrible, bro. Hey, listen, I believe in Hunter. Uh, after watching that after watching that play, you'll never, ever hear me tolerate any Hunter slander. No said, Hunter slander whatsoever. Nah, said, if, I, if I'm being honest. Oh, Phil said that Hunter is a spirit you, animal. I'm so upset about <laughs> If I'm going to be honest, this yeah. is the game where I'm going to need my boy Abram to get his, get his fumble or get his pick. Okay. Bro, it's time for a turnover, bro. Like, a, I, we need a we need a pick six. We need something big. Like, we, we only have one pick, right? That Mullen pick. Where Mullen we, pick, and then we have, like, a, a fumble recovery, I think, against Baltimore. Yeah. Oh, we had two against Baltimore. Two. Okay, but, bro, like, we, we, we don't – we haven't really been getting anything on the defensive side of the ball. Turnover. Yeah, we had, we had two strips on Baltimore. We had – oh, wait, 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 wait. Solomon Thomas had the one on the Dolphins, but it wasn't recovered. Yeah. Um, Antonio Soprano. You know so, what? It's Yannick time, bro. Yannick yeah. time. It's Yannick time. That's what I was getting ready to say is that he he's good. This has got to be the game that he come either him or Max. One of the two of them, probably both of them, need to go nuts in this game. This, yeah. this is what I think. Shout out to Temp in my chat yesterday. I don't know if he's in here right now, but this is what he said, man. With Yannick's fucking get off that looks like he's getting shot out of a cannon. Yeah. Bro, he's going up against old man Jason Peters, bro. Like yeah. that yeah. get off and that speed differential is ridiculous. Yeah. Like Yannick needs to get him one on Jason Peters. And if it's not Yannick, it needs to be Max. And if it's not Max, it needs to be Phylon or Solomon or Quentin Jefferson, whoever. Maybe and, even throw Malcolm Koontz. I don't care. And, and before you guys say anything, Jason Peters is a form, he he will be a future Hall of Famer, but he is very old right now and he is getting cooked on the left side. Yes. Hey, shout out to Tim. He says right here, dog. Yes. Temp said that, and I was thinking, like, oh yeah, Yannick's about to eat this man alive. Mm-hmm. For long. I like bro. Phylon. Is it Phylon? I call it Phylon. Phylon. It's Phylon. Phylon, Phylon. Shit, I feel like is more. You feel me? Like tomato, yeah. tomato. Hey, I just read. Yeah, an you know what I'm saying? Another great feel out there. <laughs> I just read an article about the All 22 on Game Pass. Okay. Um, uh, it was supposed to. It was supposed to be. They said it was going to launch before the first regular season game. Uh huh. And there hasn't been. They don't know why they hasn't come out yet. And I guess a lot of people are pretty upset because that's one of the main reasons some of these bought the Game Pass was for this program. And they're just they they don't know why there's something with the interface, but it's it's not out yet. So, but they plan on it. It's just I don't know why it hasn't come out yet. There's there's delays in it. So, uh, well, I don't know how you mess it up because they had what I think seven years of film all twenty two on there. It says I guess they're switching. They they did like an overhaul of the. Let's see. 
Real uh, quick, while you're doing that, shout out to my auntie. Hey, Veli's picking me up at the airport in Vegas on Saturday night. So I'm going to call you when I get with him. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. I'm glad I didn't pay for it, bro. Yeah, it says, <laughs> it says nearly a month into the 2021 NFL regular season, Game Pass is still having issues with its interface. With most media members still barred from the locker room, reviewing film is one of, one, is one of the ways some reporters supplement their coverage. And so they're, 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 there's a lot of reporters that use that as a way to you know take a look at games and write their articles. Man, Phil, that's Phil, fucked yeah. up. Phil said it's one. He one of them. Yeah, right that's here. Fucked up. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's terrible. So, but how how you been working around that, bro? You just kind of just like what the fuck? He, he records the games with his. No, I do record. I do record yeah. the games, but even still, there's only so much you can see. And really, yeah. what really what. Well, if you've noticed kind of what my work has been, it's been highlighting the trenches and, and the front yeah. seven because that's really all you get. That's, all you, that's all you can see. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I bet I haven't, I haven't got yeah, on. I don't know how so on he has been doing it. I've had to, I'd have to go off his stats only because I can't see what his wide receivers are doing mm -hmm. or if they're open or not. Like the Chiefs game, for instance. Now I, I, I've heard that uh, the receivers got open frequently. But we'll never be able to see that because we don't have all 22. Yeah. I don't know where Sanjeet is getting this, man. Sanjeet and Illuminati, bro. I got to hit him up. <laughs> now, Sanjeet and Illuminati. Facts. Damn, bro. Water came in and said, let's trade Waller for Eric Harris. <laughs> Low key, bro. Wow. Waller, Waller was under. That man was ready to go. He was, he was barking. He was feeling it, and they just did not feed him. No, bro, did Who? not feed Who? him at all. Well, no. why was he? Why was he not in on that freaking third down? Or, or you know, why? How how would he not be in there? That's like when he should be in every freaking time. Well, guess what? Guess what? Last year, when you when you need a hail mary play against the Jets, they had him blocking. Oh, not. <laughs> Hey, do you guys find it, it weird? Though? Hail Mary! They're gonna only have three rushers. Is that? Do you guys find it weird though? They no, they did an all-out blitz. They did eight-man blitz. <laughs> yeah. They Waller had Waller had nineteen targets in week one, right? Mm-hmm. Hasn't week even two, had that. In week two, he had seven. Week three, he had seven. Four, he had seven. He's he's at seven. He's at seven targets the past three weeks. Each week, he, I, I feel like we got to get him more involved, man. Like. And don't get me wrong, he's still leading the league, I, I believe, right no, now. He's gonna get more involved. I mean, we didn't see nobody on our team get bracketed like Waller before last game, and we saw them bracket Renfro. Yep. So if they want to keep bracketing Renfro, good luck because you didn't forgot about Waller and everybody else. Yeah, they did it right. You bring you bring pressure and then and then bracket uh, Carr's outlet receive his hot oh, receivers yeah. and they'll fall apart. That's what he did. Let me see. Well, it, it's I... it's a variation of what the Patriots did to him last year when yeah. they simulated doubling his checkdowns and it fucked him up, embarrassed yeah. him. Bro, Foster Moreau has been a, a total MIA. Sham this year, bro. He hasn't been blocking either, though. Like, like you can't block, you can't do like what, what's going on with him, bro? I'm saying that since week two, bro. Like, week I think week one, he got the TD, right? Or was it was, was it Pittsburgh? Yeah, we uh, it was Pittsburgh. Okay, Pittsburgh, bro. What the hell is going on, bro? I just it doesn't been make any sense to me. Been bad, can't block, can't, can't get open, like. Shit, I'm, I'm, at this point, put Carrier out there more often. Shit, he's hurt. Side arm with the left. No, it, this he got a shoulder injury, right? Yeah. So, oh, so Max hasn't had a sack. Or Max hasn't had a sack since week one. Yannick hasn't had a sack in a month. We can see off bounds and his weights pitch forward. Max turns the corner and then forces. We're saying, we're saying that every so single one kind of, of our defense corner, tackles uses his now have had a sack. Mm hmm That's big. <laughs> that is big. But though, but those pressures from Max and Yannick are, are allowing those defensive tackles to feast though. Definitely. Yeah. Without yeah. a Max, doubt. Max is getting hugged, grabbed, held, all, all and of here's the thing race. that I will say. When are we gonna get called? When, when are we gonna get a call? Never. Never. 
<laughs> Never. Here's yeah, what I will say. With the limited, that's that's all it's that's all it is. With the that's limited true. snaps that uh that that Cleveland has had, I've liked what I've seen. Yeah, but isn't that what Bosa was talking about? How they weren't getting any calls? Yeah. yeah. So I mean Hank has got a Hank has got a half a face. Snaps. Huh? Was it going both ways? I mean, were they it was know. it was it was kinda. Hell you no. know, I mean I don't agree with that. What? I don't think it was. I don't think it was both ways, bro. We we get held. It seems like on every goddamn play. Every play. We don't get shit. Uh, but Hankins got a half a sack with Solomon Thomas. Um, I believe. What, what is it? Was he do? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every single one of our defensive tackles have a sack. I like what Sean said. Um, he said Max will be fine. His sacks come in bunches. Yeah, they right? do. Definitely. I feel like with Yannick, it'll be wow. like, wow, they didn't give Wow. What happened? No, I'm looking at, uh, so this is Gino just threw a pick, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I for who's number, the, why, who's number four for the Seahawks? Or he was, he was coming across on a drag and the safety just clipped him. And now I think it was Tyler Lockett. And number four was the safety. Yeah, and, no P.I. And no P.I. That's game over right there. And it's game over. Wow. They had had a chance to win the game. Mm Mm-hmm. Nah, it was obvious P.I. I don't know. Uh, No, it wasn't. Nah, he tripped. You think so? He tripped. He got away for it. He got away. He got around it. Oh, you're right. You're right. He moved his hands. He he moved his hands away from it. Yep. Screwed him up. Good call, Andy. Wesley, that's crazy, bro, because Andre James was rated – on the PFF, 33 out of 33 center. He's rated the worst center in the league this past week. And Alex Leatherwood was a 73 or 77 out of 77. Worst right tackle in the league, according to PFF. Wait, 33 out of 33? So there's a secondary, there's a second string center that played better than <laughs> that's oh, fucked. That's insane, bro. What was it? What, what is it? Or somebody or somebody that got hurt and then so and came in to play. Came back in. Yeah, came in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry as fuck. That shit is sad, bro. Like, what the he, fuck? He's, yeah, he's bad. He's bad, man. That shit is just like bad. Man. He's sorry. Let me see. I had Gino in. Okay, hold on. Somebody just sent me some. There's uh, no way somebody said he had Gino in fantasy. There's no way, bro. I'm checking you out right now, bro. I got you, bro. Um, <laughs> what a duo. <laughs> fuck. Man. Um, I'm going to check this out, bro, once, once we're off the live. I got you, brother. Um, let me see. James is trash. Shout out to Spotlight, man. Shout out to my dog. I um, think trash is too much credit, man, honestly. He said that wasn't Gino's fault. He, he's what we got. And they got to they figure out a way to make it work. because it's See, but at the same time, he's not all we got. <laughs> we drafted a seventh rounder. We got a... a uh, uh, what's his name? Nick Martin, who I really, you know, he was getting done dirty against sec- second team in the preseason. So I don't know. Hey, shout. Yeah, we got to bring Morrissey up, man. I'm with that, bro. But he's super slim. I get it. I know that. I know we probably want to sit him back and, and, let, and get him, get him right, get him at, you know what I mean? Get him ready for war. But, bro, like at this the point. The undynamic bro, duo for real. Anything is better than fucking Andre James, bro. This shit is terrible, bro. It's just, it's really bad, bro, at this point. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, I just, I, I, I haven't never seen. You know how many teams. points Andre has taken off our board? Yeah, bro. Just saying field goals. Like, if we just say field goals, like, it's, it's bad. We're talking hey, about. Hey, let me let me ask you guys this. This, this for you, Phil and Andy. D- mm-hmm. d- so moving, moving, and, and Stu, Stu as well. And, and, and you're like, like, remember when you played, man? Like seeing a right tackle move to right guard, right? He had problems with false starts. Gallery. Okay, yeah. He had problem with false starts at, at right tackle. Does, does that go away at a, as, as playing right guard? Does it take a little bit off? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my bad. He can see that he can he can see the ball better. Because he's actually on the line of scrimmage, and he yeah, doesn't. Need and he doesn't need as much depth. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I think it does, but at the same time, it does, and I feel like maybe I don't understand how for him, 
you played at Alabama, you played at the biggest stage. I don't understand how it can still begin to you, you know? Like I don't I don't know how the nerves and that kind of stuff can still begin to you at this point when you played at the highest level previously, you know? But I don't get by the speed. That that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I mean, earliest they, jump that he can get. A lot of the times, what you see is he'll either reach, he'll either reach and be off balance, or he'll wait and won't get a jet, won't get a won't get a punch. Yeah. And, and those those are his two big issues. Either in either case, he's not getting square up on guys, and he's get and he's reaching. He's out over his feet, or he's leaning. Which is good. Is. Which is which is better for him going on the inside. You know, you don't have the super athletes with the crazy wingspan. Well, obviously they're crazy good athletes, but they don't have the crazy wingspan that the edge rushers do. No, um, or the speed, or yeah, the it's speed. More, it's power. It's just it's it's more just girth and power and strength. You know. Yeah, and he has that. Like that he has it. Yeah, he's good on that. Which is why he played three years of guard in college. But you know, he will need he will need to on those one plays get second level and get those linebackers. That, that he, hasn't been a problem for him. I've liked okay. what I've seen from him in the run game. That hasn't really been an issue. Hey Phil, yeah. yeah, on your on the Raiders ramble, does the search button not work? Uh, I would have to go see what you were talking about. I don't know. Just like the like the search anything on the on the web, like it's a little button. definitely Tyco. It won't do anything. So just maybe you might want to tell someone about that because I don't know. Anyway. Me personally, I think that this this upgrades our run game as far as interior. Hey, yeah, I, Mar absolutely. Mar what, man, I, there's no updates on Mariota. He's yet. eligible to be back, I think, next week, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this week. Him. This week. Is it? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah, on it. Well, Ravens. Ravens game. Yeah, no, yeah. you're right. It oh, should be. It should really? be this week, technically, because it was fit the fifth week. But it's a question of when they put him on the when they put him on the list. But it should be this week. What concussion? No, for his quad. Uh, uh, but but here's the thing. That's another thing, man. Um, against the Chargers last year, when you have that 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 quarterback that can offer the read option, um it opens up stuff for your running back and it open it's easier for your offensive line as well because when when the defense has to take that 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 one that one read step where they're having to read if the quarterback's going to take it that's one second more that your running back can hit the hole you know so it's like it it opens up a lot of stuff so when Gruden said with Mariota going out you lose a big part of your offense i believe it i honestly do believe that Mariota did have you know a designated probably like 20 plays honestly you know but he only got he only got that one in the home opener right because he got hurt on that one he got hurt on that one play but he yeah, yeah. he's been factored into this offense and he was supposed to have a – I think he had a package like 12 is actually what it ended up They can't being. count on him, dude. They can't count on him. Hurt. At all. Hey, shout out to J.A. in the chat, man. He just sent me a few stats, man. Highest team pressure rate. We're second in the league, only behind the Cleveland Browns right now. We're, and we're first in uh, – we're first in um, – Fastest team yeah. pass rush. Uh, get off. Get off. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're number one. I we're, think I think that's really boosted by Yannick, though. Yeah, oh, facts. That get off is, is is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Shout out to you, Jay. I appreciate you on that, brother. Let me see. What the fuck is Gruden doing? Everyone says fire him. Why? I mean, I'm not saying fire him, but he has to do a better job. And even if we wanted to get him fired, shit, he still got like six years left on his in his contract. Ain't no getting a man fired that still owed sixty million dollars. All guarantee. Going nowhere. Hey, yeah, all guarantee. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Uh, Sean says Solly's get off is fast too. Facts. And Sometime though, with him at the interior, it's for the worse because he'll go flying upfield and and he'll he'll miss he'll miss a big play. Solly, yeah, it happened in the Steelers game. He I'm, was in the backfield like so quick on two run plays where he he could have stuffed the whole thing, but you know he was he was too quick for his own good. I like that he's adding some new things to his to his to his regiment now to his repertoire. Though. Like, that's all I've been asking for. Yeah, the spin he finally, move. He finally looks like he's a pass rusher. Bro, that spin move is vicious, bro, and it's quick as shit. Have you seen? I know you've seen that spin move. I said that there. spin move. Oh, then that's where I seen it from, motherfucker. But yeah, <laughs> that, bro, that shit, bro. I love it, bro. Yes, I love sir. it. Nice. Uh, 
Yeah, JD said ready to take a show. So I went in the comment section and I said, "Oh yeah, I, I'm about to brag about Solomon Thomas because I've been on that all." Well, I don't know if you should keep bragging. The motherfucker got two sacks. Okay, chill out. Hey, that's more than he's ever had in his career up to this point. No, he's had a three sack year. No, no, I'm talking about four games. <laughs> oh well, you know, <laughs> don't get too happy. And he's a hater, man. Let me see. Don't get too. No, I'm saying for his own good. Don't you know me? Don't 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 let him get too comfortable. He said at Las Las Vegas said uh Solly got to be subscribed to Andy's channel. Something I'm telling you, bro. Cause uh oh yeah yeah that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. That man, boy, he was getting ripped apart over here. Stu, what you looking at, bro? Well, I was just I was just trying to get more. I was seeing if I could find something where somebody had some film on something. So I was going through that. 22, you know, tw man 22, or whatever the hell it was, and just yeah, I, I see that each each team kind of has somebody that, as a fan, they kind of take that of their team and, and post it and stuff like that. And but I couldn't find anything current, but I, I did like how it it stopped and he went through and paused it and kind of talked about some shit. So I that's a that's something that I'd like to. I hope that they get that thing up and running here soon. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I think that would be. I like your bread and butter, Stu. I think that. I, I, that's what I would like to do. That's exactly. That, I would. I would love to be able to. And I like the commentary too because I can either agree or disagree with that person. You know, what I mean, he's yeah, he's kind of explaining it, and and um, unless you know, he's a shit, shit job of explaining it, but you know who started the channel and has been doing that as well, Kurt Warner. Yeah. Oh, really? Great, yeah. great film great. breakdown. Great. What, what, what's he doing that on? Uh, on YouTube. Is he? Yeah. Look him up. Fire. Like, he, the way he yeah. breaks the game down is so good. Well, I mean, that dude's what? He played at the uh, very highest level. He played in the Super Bowl. Show on turf. Uh, QB Confidential. Yeah, that's what it is. Yep. yep. All-time quarterback. He actually did a few episodes on the Raiders. Shout out to my coach. Ooh, they, was kill they was killing me, Graf. They was killing me when I came out and told him what he said about oh. Oh, that was uh, killing me. About Warner? Wait, 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 what he said? Yeah, about me. Oh, to be more aggressive. Oh, he was hard. his biggest fan. I'm like, bro, how you going to argue with Kurt Warner? Bro, a I'm Super Bowl, good. like, yeah, you, you can't you can't play with that. No. Man, yeah. my, my high school coach played for him, played, played with him. Did he? Yeah. He was a fullback. Back when fullbacks were fullbacks. Bro, yeah. he, was work, he was working at a grocery so store, bro. How was he able to show this? How was he able to show that? Who? Warner. He probably got the all twenty two at that oh, time. Oh, they got some way better than so the all twenty two. So once you once you once you pay, you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Right. Make sure you show that NFL yeah. logo though. They will Ooh. get your ass. I see it down on the bottom. Too. I need your login. I, I don't know what they talk about, <laughs> but I need your login. So you need to reach out to some of your connects, bro. Like they're I mean, working. I will. I wasn't gonna say that, but yeah. On what? On what? On what? The video guy, start with the video, the video guy. guy with the Raiders, like whoever you yeah. can. Yeah, Phil tried to pull. I said, dude. I said they're they are they are, they will not let any film out of there, bro. There's no way. I mean, I I'll, I can try, but I'm I'm gonna say that's gonna be a big freaking maybe. You can walk into headquarters. I can. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I mean, <laughs> hey, Sauce, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't really think too much about Brandon Faison, bro. I I did a video on him. You know what's so crazy? I did a video, a quick video on him the other day, and bro, people were so intrigued to figure out who this guy was. It's like fourteen thousand views on that damn on that damn video. Like people were really like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, I, I have no idea who that dude is. What is who? What is it? What is it? Corner, what? corner. We oh, oh the, the guy that we picked up. Off yeah, the practice squad. squad is another oh, the practice squad guy. Charger guy. Yeah. Yeah. Off the yeah. practice squad. Yeah. He's yeah. decent, but he's decent, but I don't understand why you go get him. He's at the end of his career instead of keeping Isaiah and Johnson, who his career can just start. Virginia Tech guy. Yeah, Virginia I would have got Russell Douglas personally. Oh, yes, Russell Douglas. Well, he just got signed to Green Bay, so he gone. There you, there you have it. I thought that they should have kept him, but I, yes. I understood why they couldn't. But still, I don't understand what it is with uh, our management, man. Like 
The year, the year that we had no no safety. The year that we let Eric Harris run the reins in the back end, uh, we we took Eric Harris over Demarius Randall. <laughs> oh my god! Bro. And then we we took we took Nevin Lawson over Prince of Mukamara. Yeah. <laughs> should have well, cut them both. All, well, both. Honestly, everybody, every name that you said should have got cut. Bro. Yeah, because because even the latter, Andy, them both don't even have jobs right now. I don't think. Yeah. So. Um, shout shout to Jay Warrior who start that it's it's a meek brother a meek has to start in uh Trayvon Molin's uh spot. Oh yeah, dude. Bleedy, Bleedy's gone. Ble- yeah, he been he's gone. been gone. Yeah, Bleedy was cut after preseason. Yeah, he, I, he had, he I don't even remember him playing. Play. He had that one bad play. I forgot who it was against. Was it the Niners? I forgot yeah. who, who it was. Yeah, he's- I, is he, I, what, what, I mean, is he just in to do get practice reps or what? Cause. He's a Gus Bradley guy. He played with him for two years with the Chargers. Um, it was just an easy peasy. Go pick him up. He knows the system. He can come in day one. But he's not going to start. He'll just be a depth piece. He's, he's not going to be. Well, because, yeah, you um, he's got six in, in playing how many years now? It was been uh, 2018 he came out. So he's got 60 tackles, one pass deflection. That's it. Yeah. Like it, it's in not, his career, yeah. One pass deflection. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. I, I at actually, that point, Damon Arnett's better than him. God damn. No, yeah, no, Damon Arnett is not better than anybody. Don't don't ever tell anybody that. Hey, hey, if, we look, <laughs> if we look at stats, Damon Arnett has like five pass deflections. Oh, well, then I would say how many touchdowns has he given up, and it'll balance itself See, back he's out. He's one of those. He's what. This is one of those guys. That will travel with Gus Bradley because he he he's one of those guys that just I don't want to say what I want to say, but you know what I mean. Like like will play probably another five years just because he knows how to fly under the radar. You know what I mean? And just okay. be a, be a yes man. Which if that's how you want to collect the check is what we call that, Stu. What? Continuing to collect a check is what we call that. Well. Stu, if you would have shut the fuck up, you would have you would have been collecting a check too, motherfucker. I know. I, I yeah, you're right. Well, they expected him to play. We we expected Stu to play. He wasn't gonna be able to coast. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, I uh, yeah, I just, I I mean, here's the deal. We're constantly getting evaluated, right? As players, yeah, yeah we're sure. constantly getting evaluated, and when we make mistakes, it's it's addressed. Why can't you hold the the coaches accountable? You know what I'm saying? Like, if they're calling some shit and you don't. You know, you don't really agree with it. I don't see anything wrong with, and I'm not saying like belittle them in front of the team, but yeah, like coach, I just I'm asking because I just want to put us in the best situation. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe mm-hmm. you didn't think about some shit like that, you know? But these motherfuckers, man, they just golly, they just can't. Ugh. Shout out to Rick Glenn. Also, shout out to Kev. Stu earned his money. That's facts. That's, that's right. One, hey, that's the one thing I could say. Facts, brother. You did. You definitely did. Yes, and I'm did. not saying that just because I'm a Raider fan. I watched every game. You definitely you said I didn't suck nothing to earn my shit. Hey, you that's definitely right. earned every check. Hey, shout out to Jimmy. He said, I'd like to give a shout out to Stu. Go Boilermakers. Oh! There we we got go. A, so you got a Raider You got a Raider and a Boilermaker right there, man. There we go. There we go. There's, there's two of you guys. There we go. We uh, yeah, we, we suffered a loss to Minnesota last week. It was ugly. It wasn't. It wasn't. And Notre Dame got that ass whooped. Fuck you, man. We ain't talking about Notre Dame right now, bro. Chill out. I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that, that's the thing. Like, yeah, it's it's hard for us to sit here and go, oh, put, go to this play, go to this, because we need to make it. We need to make it as clear as we can for the other people. You know, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that are really trying to learn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean. That's what I want to be able to do is because the more you the more you can get into it, I think the more you can appreciate the players and understand and and have a little more, you know, understanding of, you know what, when a guy does fuck up and it's a reason that it was a selfish reason or he's not getting things and you realize that, yeah, cuss the guy out. But sometimes, you know, because you don't know exactly what's going on out there, it may not even be that guy's situation, you know, so. I, and I think it makes the game funner, right? I mean, the more you know, the more you kind of start to see tendencies. You start to be able to to get more of into the player side of things, and it it um it's just so that's what I want to be able to do. But we need it to where I can show it like Kurt Warner was. Got to get you a green screen, Scoot Stu. Boom, baby, yeah. And I sometimes those guys sometimes they're just a little. I want to I want to add a little flair to it. You know what I'm saying? 
sometimes those guys are a little uh what would you say corny i guess i don't know but yeah. I wanna, for tv yeah pc you know what i'm saying yeah so i think that would be cool dude i think that would be really cool okay so is there any db dude that that from what you've seen from our deep high safety Trayvon Merrick, our first, our second round pick, is there anything that you know that he maybe you feel like needs to work on, or you feel like he's doing good? Um, if, if there's any comments that you had on Merrick, because this this is a guy who uh, Graf, I think he led he led all college football in pass breakups, right? Um, you know, he he also won an award, didn't he? Let's here. Hold on. Let's let's just take a look. Let's take a look here. At this wait, wait. My, my fault. You said who? Merrick. Merrick. Oh yeah, you know, Merrick won a few awards. Right. Um, he, won, he won best DB, the best DB in the nation award. Right. He won the Thorpe. The Thorpe. Yeah, he won the Thorpe. Jim Thorpe. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How do you, how do you so, spell his name? Trayvon T R E V O N E. Okay. And then Merrick. So M O. Oh, I, I got it. Yep. And All he's right. a safety. Free safety. Oh, oh, oh yeah, from TCU. I saw him actually play. He came to Purdue and played. He's a six two. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see his stats. I just want to. I like to look at their stats in, in college too, just to kind of see <laughs> see where they're at. So yeah. So he. Yep. He won the Thorpe Award in twenty twenty. Hey, uh, look at this. Look at this, though. Bam! There it is. That. Hell yeah! Look at that bad boy. That's that. That's that. You know what, white? That thing is white back there. That's crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, you better be careful, dude. He looks like he's about to come up on your ass. I'll spit on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you. Okay, never mind. I saw it. Okay, that was not about to go as a true, as at all. A, at all, I, I had to. I had to hurry up and change. Man, immediate impact, quick. starting two games on defense. Okay, uh, he became. Fine, a, I love that picture. Sophomore. <laughs> Four interceptions. Yeah, so he's. I mean, he's he's produced. Uh, junior in two thousand was named the top defensive back for Texas. Da, da, da. Four five two forty, two five seven. Okay, uh, four one nine, thirty three inch vertical, fourteen inch or fourteen reps on the on the bench. And I so, think he did all those stats with a injured back. Oh, did he? Okay, yeah. okay. And he's a rookie yeah. this year, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Second round should have been first round, but because of the back injury, teams were they had their concerns. I got you. Uh, he's got he's got so far. It looks like he's got um, nine tackles, and um, how many? And him? you remember you remember the play where uh, number twenty seven got all grabby and got the pi, and oh, uh, and he had the safety in the end zone. And yeah, he, yeah, should yeah he could have had a pick there. Yep. Uh, let me just see this. Yeah, so I mean, I, I honestly, I, I he hasn't stuck out to me. You know, it's not like I. <laughs> Look at Phil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, that's just funny as shit. That motherfucker. That dude is cheese <laughs> like a motherfucker, dude. I say. That's my best picture, man. That's that's one of my favorite pictures right there. My nose hasn't been all fucked up yet. My smile is <laughs> straight. My tooth isn't chipped. Oh, shit. You guys are some fucking assholes, man. Uh, <laughs> well, dude, okay, so here you go. He hasn't played a whole lot. So right. he's had five snaps the first game, eight the second, ten. Wait, what? Five what snaps? Shows. That's what it shows here. No, he's played... Every almost every snap. Yeah. Really? Oh, I don't. On this statistics here, it, it shows that he hasn't played that. So I don't know. Maybe that's snaps at a certain position. Oh, sorry. Special team snaps. My fault. Oh, okay. De okay, defensive snaps. Yeah, he's one hundred percent. Yeah, he missed a couple snaps in the. Uh, so he's got a. He's and he's playing safety. He's not playing nickel. He's not. Post. Post, deep high. Nine tackles in four games. I mean, he's just I, – I, like I said, I, I haven't really – it's not a guy that I've noticed. He hasn't stood out. Yeah, like 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 Littleton stood out, right? And like, okay. you know, um, uh, 
the linebacker 52 stood out and and um, um, Abrams unfortunately stood out sometimes not in the best way but I did see the first half wait, wait, wait. what was that what was wrong with Abram what do you mean He's missed quite a few tackles as well. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. But I saw the first half of this last game. It looked like he was tackling a little bit better. Would you guys agree, or what would you say? I mean, he made some decent tackles. I mean, with Abram, it's uh, I feel like it, with him, it's him learning to be in between trying to make the big hit and just understanding make the tackle. You know, Did you see that on the on the red zone close down there. I, I thought he was going to break his neck, man. He he like. He freaking went down. I was like, oh, man, dude, you got to watch that shit. Holy smokes. Trayvon Merrick is going to get tested. I'm waiting on that. Me too. Gus Bradley said it today. He said that uh, he said that he thought that this game, uh, Merrick was going to get tested a lot more, and Merrick didn't get tested. Well, well when your defensive coordinator is saying that, it's kind of telling me like they they want they want somebody to try them, you know. Well, how how are you? Te- how would you test them? Nobody has gone deep on them. Pause. How? Well, <laughs> it's, yeah, but if he if he's always we'll never let one go by. <laughs> there's 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 okay, there is one play where I felt like with him being the deep high safety, he should have helped on a mismatch, and that was week one. Where we had number forty four Nick Wachowski, they ran a, a a great cover three beater, um, yeah. and they got our linebacker. He he's a good linebacker, but um, but he was one on one with a receiver down the seam, and he was just a little bit late to the party there. Um, but that was about the only play where I felt like they they tested his range there, well, kind of to see if he'll get there. I mean, how how many how how much would you percentage of his snaps is he in the middle of the field, in the middle third? At least eighty. So if if those if the offensive coordinator and the quarterback know that there's a post safety, they're never going to throw it down there. That's a stupid throw. Okay, so then here's what I'll say, right? Um, on that scoring play, uh, this game with the Chargers, where Jared Cook got the touchdown in the back of the end zone, I felt like it was partially Merrick. And yeah. Abram, yeah, it was Mary. I feel like with with when you're down in the red zone where you're not worried that you're gonna get beat over the top, then is your time to really try and get the quarterback and bait the quarterback into throwing a pass that won't be there because you're gonna make a play on it. You know, um, I feel like with Mary, his back his back was already in the end zone. Why not try and bait I- the second year quarterback into throwing a pass that he shouldn't throw? Because we know you have the range to make the play, I feel like maybe with him it's just when the when the game when the NFL game slows down for him, yeah, absolutely. then the plays you know because he's only four weeks in. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, like again, looking at those stats, I mean, I I think you know, I mean, for for him getting in there, I mean, playing a lot, you know, I mean, he'll he's gonna get more comfortable back there. But I I want to say. Abram should have sunk with him a little bit more and, and basically turn it into man underneath and making the quarterback throw it high in the safety. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that play again. I want I want to see what it, let me see if I can. I felt like that play goes both ways. I felt like with Abram, it was clearly Abram should have you know took it. He should have he should have went with the tight end more. But I feel like with Merrick, it wasn't necessarily his man. But I feel like with Merrick, you're in a position where you can make a play. Because you no longer have to worry about getting no. beat over top. No, and, and that's the thing. Everything happens so quick. So, I mean, it's like you have the freedom really where they're like, hey, listen, as soon as that quarterback turns his shoulders, freaking go, man. Like, yeah. like because you can't wait. You can't hesitate. Because the quarterback's not going to have time to freaking pump in there. He's gonna, whatever's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I want to see, see that that play there. I like the wallpaper there, Doc's. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. I'm about to keep that thing on there for the rest of the show. Um, hey, Andy, did you see the mic'd up that he had, the Trayvon hit? Yeah. I like it, man. It, it sounds like he's getting comfortable. And we, well, and- well, well, what I will say was that he – I feel like this last game was Merrick's best game as a Raider, right? You know, he like finally that. he finally got a he finally got his hands on the ball. Yeah, he got a pass breakup. He, um, he, he saved the TD right there. Let's yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And what one? What one? What one? 
It was in the third. It was in the fourth quarter. Okay. We stopped him on third and ten, I believe, to get the ball back. Okay. To, uh, and that was the one. Wasn't that the, the drive where we went? We ran down where we should have scored to tie the game. I think it was the drive after when we went for a fifty-two yard yeah. field goal or some shit instead of yeah. going for it. It was yeah. oh, three. I didn't hear you guys talking about that on your Yeah, man. I didn't I, hear you guys talking about the field goal. What What do you think about that field? Me personally, bro, I would have went for it, bro. They it was the right it was the right move. I mean, recap you it for me. Give me so, the so they were uh, they were they were about to kick with a fifty two yard field goal. Yeah, and uh, Trent C skipped one to the to the holder and threw off the time and, and threw yep. off the whole timing of the kick. And uh, what was it down in distance? It was fourth and what was it fourth and like five or something like that? No, fourth and eight. Yes, somewhere right and there. uh it was four it was twenty one fourteen at the time and it was maybe about ten nine minutes to go on the fourth. So with the way that their defense had been playing, if they get and the way that you know and you know what Carr is about when he gets the when he gets the ball anytime with four minutes or less left on the on the clock. I mean yeah. he's he's gotta be he's gotta be one of your four minute warriors if ever there is one. I mean, he, he's with four minutes or less. That's the guy right there. Mm -hmm. But you get you get three. You, you got to take points at every opportunity that you can, especially when you're dealing in a comeback situation. You do. You do. You, I mean, yeah, I'm taking it. I, I like that. Taking a three. It gives your it yeah. gives your defense, you know, like your defense can go out there like, OK, giving up three. Got, they got points. Yeah. No, no, no. Even even with giving up three, your defense still, you know, it's still a seven point game. See, I, I don't agree with that, bro, because we were passing the ball so effectively and, and, and the Chargers were going like, bro, they were so successful on fourth down. They were four for four. Get aggressive. Like, 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 fuck it. Let's tie this game now so we don't have to put it on the defense. If anything, they go back down, they score, say we get the ball back. We get it back. I feel like the reason it was nine wild. minutes to go. They were going to – the defense, they were going to get the ball back no matter what. That That's the whole thing. This is my thing. This is my thing. I feel like the only reason why this is somewhat of a debate is because Carlson missed it. Yep. Um, because that changes the game, right? Yes, Carlson, Carlson missing it changes the game. But obviously, since we didn't go for it and we didn't get any points, we're talking about, well, well maybe you only got three yards. Maybe you take the shot and then you can go down and get seven. But you get three. Your defense just stopped in the drive before. Your defense can now go on the field and say, "Okay, we can give up three at most." You know, like that gives them some some breathing room. Room, yeah. So I feel like that was a smart call. With your offense was move. Yes, the offense was moving the ball very good. Yeah, go for, like me personally. I, I, I'm finding a big body, Brian. Okay, Edwards, but earlier Brian. you go for it and you don't get it. Hey guys, I know this is this is a little off topic, but what's what's the ruling on this that Waller spike? To get a pet, oh, right? Uh, Taunting. Just is it because it was too close to their sideline? He uh, said that he yeah, said that the, the ref said, line. yeah, the ref it's said that there. Waller spiked the ball into their the team's bench. Okay, and he didn't. The ball went inside of the you know field. That was some terror. We still got the first down, but it was, but it, it, we didn't, it, it, we didn't work. Yeah, he didn't even look. Yeah, didn't look at us. Didn't we lost at yards. Bench. We lost yards. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah. bro. Because it was a 15-yard penalty, so we got the first, but it was a 15-yard penalty, so we lost yards there. Yeah. Okay. That was a terrible call, bro. Yeah, that was that was that was horseshit right there. And then after he scored, he spiked it in their end zone, and nothing was wrong with that. Yeah. Again, well, the, he the did the same thing. Was was the ref who threw the flag wasn't even looking at Waller when he threw the flag either. It, I don't know, bro. It was just a weird energy about that game. Even with the, with, with the Bro, weather delay hard. in LA in a dome, it's just like what? Yeah, that boy, that man Merrick said, "There's weather delays in the NFL." <laughs> like, bro, like, and in a dome though. Like, did you see what Gruden like when they told him Gruden, Gruden looked in the air? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, no. What I didn't like by Gruden though is like after you lose a game and you're talking about it at a press conference, you're talking about. I want to know who made the locker room. I want to talk to the guy who made the locker room because the design in here isn't good. Why are you talking about the locker room, bro? You just lost. Like something, that, yeah, something just that 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 was fucking that was like like bro. That was that, that has no, the locker room has nothing 
to do with why you guys lost. The weather delay has nothing to do with why you guys lost. Because both teams had the weather delay. <laughs> both hey, of y'all. Andy, Andy, I'm watching that 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 touchdown. There is yeah, a reason 25. That. Yeah. Yeah, he's way because they're showing what they did is they're showing like a cover two look, and then Abrams comes down for for this uh curl flat. And he needs to get over faster. He needs to, he, he's he's playing around too far on the disguise because that because uh the, the quarterback he's he's looking right away to that tight end like right freaking now. That should be a that should be a either a inter okay. For instance, do you guys remember that play where I, I hit uh, um the guy for the Colts, the little white receiver for the Colts in the end zone on one of my highlights? Uh, I do. I, let me bring it back up. Uh, it you that that play you're coming he should be coming full speed it should be a pick or a knockout shot he's just he's not getting over fast enough but again he well that was my rookie year too though but um that's what it reminds me he just didn't get over the middle of the field fast enough so on Stockley Stokely Brandon Stokely oh, Brandon Stokely Sorry, Brandon Stokely yep Brandon Stokely realist realist yeah, I was thinking him or Austin Cole. Uh, Brandon Stokely. Yep, yep. Stokely, Stokely was actually per, uh, pretty good. Too. And that come also to a film study. I mean, I'm sure there's some tendencies if he knows, like, and he yeah. But that was their tight end's best game. There, there. I'm just telling you guys, and as the more you see it, I'm sure you already know this, but in that red zone, man, tight ends become huge, dude. They just yeah. they create mismatches, man. They just do. And I love going to the tight ends in the red zone, and you'll see it. Week Which is why I find it funny. That we never, when we're in the red zone, we never put Waller out out wide and just let him play, you know, backyard football. Like, what's well, up we, with we that? Want, we want to run QB sneaks and fucking, you know, it fucking throw it to the fullback in the flat and shit. It's like, ew. instead of putting six foot six Darren Waller on, you know, six foot two. <laughs> Dude, Four, that's, five, I mean, that's, that's like, yeah, that's that's when that's like where he should excel, dude. This is why I felt like Amik had a great game because Amik is five foot eight and was covering a six foot four jump ball receiver, and he didn't allow one target. That's true. That's true. That's big. I feel. Here's what I don't like, guys. I don't. I see a lot of guys kind of floating around. I I don't. I did this game. I didn't see like. That's the cover three though. Like they're not getting to the ball. They're 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 satisfied with another guy making the play. And unfortunately, some of these guys aren't making that play on that first tackle and they're continuing to get yards down the field. I don't I don't know. I don't Hey still who was the biggest who was the biggest stoner you knew? In <laughs> um I when I think of stoner, I think of like a white dude that's you know like a hippie guy, you know what I'm saying? I mean who who just smoked the most weed? I would probably say uh, probably Derek Burgess, probably Derek Burgess or uh, Terrell Sands, probably. You know what? Thinking about it, there wasn't a whole lot. There wasn't a whole lot. We had some drinkers now. We had some guys that fucking drank, but I don't remember a lot of guys smoking. You know, you'd think most most of the DBs would, and I don't know if any of the DBs did. Raider quits. Raider Queen says Stu. <laughs> no, no, I mean I didn't. I didn't, dude. I'm telling you, the only thing I ever had was uh, <laughs> alcohol, and that was it. Yeah. Until I was like 32, then I started trying some other stuff. I didn't even. Ra- Raider Joe said Andre Risen. He Andre Risen. He's a Michigan boy. He he was he would he would pull up in a limousine uh, after going out, and he he just walk and right into like morning meetings or whatever. Dude, he was wild, man. He was he was a Andre Bad Mood Rising man. I mean, fucking left eye burned his house down. <laughs> God rest her soul. Facts, R.I.P. Uh, Dan said Jared Cooper. Okay, you know, oh dude, yeah, don't I? I yeah, Jerry Cooper, man. I that's my freaking dog, man. That that dude is my dog. Oh hey, <laughs> here, here you go, hey uh, um Andy. You know what? I was getting more uh, confused with Littleton. That's why I was – because they, they both have the dreads and or whatever. And oh, I, yeah, that's yeah. Why I kept thinking, like, is Littleton playing safety? Because I remember plays coming in. So, actually, I like the way that uh, Morag was playing. He was coming in, and he was 
finishing ball carriers and like when a guy's held up and you can come in there and, and give a little shot, dude, those that wears players out, man. You feel I like it. That. What'd you say? Hey Troy, facts. I we said they put, feel it. We should put Hunter yeah, yeah. We should put Hunter there for a right tackle. He could block. Wow. He yeah. probably would play with more heart, man. <laughs> hey, hey, Andy, I like more. Okay, I'm glad I looked at this because I was getting those two guys confused. That makes sense now. Okay. Yeah, he's making some good tackles here in, late in the third quarter already. I mean, he's solid. Yeah, he's no, he is. He. No, Merritt's Mer going to be definitely – he's going to definitely be an all-pro in this That's league. what I'm saying. That's This is what I was saying with Merritt. I feel like when it, with him, once the game slows down and once he understands that he can start baiting these quarterbacks and making these big plays – because let's see this. Because he has – man, he has the range. And he has the ball skills. Pause. He has the ball – like, we we, we, we we seen him do it in college. So, like, you don't just lead the NFL, and and I mean, you don't just leave all college football and, and pass breakups, and you know you're lucky. Kenneth, I gotta go back and look at that, bro. I don't remember Ryzen burning uh C Wood in his first game. That's that's crazy. I hey go guys, I'm, I'm looking at this third in the third quarter. The the Chargers went for on fourth and two here. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Let me see what they got here. Fourth why, and two, I believe that was a pass out in the flat. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Jared Cook. Dude, Abrams is fucking eight yards deep. He follow. I want to say I think he followed the slant route. No, there, dude. There's, there's no yeah. one there. Khalil Mack has not been practicing all week, but but he he does this though. Khalil, Khalil doesn't have to practice. <laughs> Shit, he's that good. But it's a it's a it's um ankle and what is it ankle and. Shoulder or toe and shoulder? Team <laughs> Hicks uh, hasn't been practicing either. These 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 say these are are ribs. Oh, ribs and shoulder. Yep. I'm gonna look that up though, because I've I've seen Khalil where he hasn't practiced all week and still play. Go on scout. It's ribs and shoulders on scouts. He put up the injury report. Now, I'm gonna look up some updates to see where. All right. With the three and one Vegas Raiders up next for the two and two Bears, they'll need all hands on their defensive deck to slow down Derek Carr, Darren Waller, Rugs, blah, blah, blah. Okay. On Thursday, things didn't get better. Both defensive linemen, Akeem, Akeem Hicks, groin, outside linebacker, Khalil Mack, foot and ribs, were held out of practice the last two days. Well, we'll see for tomorrow because tomorrow is essentially their last practice before they have to travel over here. Yeah, the Wall Street day. So if they're if they're not there for that, then they'll probably be listed as questionable or game time decision. Yeah. But uh, like these midweek practices, it's usually just rest. Like for today, Yannick took a rest day. Yeah. Hey, what we talked about with Waller mm -hmm. was per what they should do every time in the red zone right there when they threw that that little that little kind of just a little, not really a seven route, but. It just that's an easy pitch and catch, man. It's a simple play. They should do it all on third and shorts, fourth and especially shorts. whenever a DB has his back turned to to DC. Oh yeah. Are, and what they're, they're doing is like, back shoulder throws bunch, what he's got to do. They're coming out of that bunch, and then what they're doing is, which is so hard to guard, as he's coming up. And he's putting his body into the guy. Yeah. Creating separation right there. There's nothing you can do. No. I mean, that's that's it. That's it easy. Hey, can you on that every play. Could you guys imagine if we had Waller and Jared Cook? Yeah, I could imagine that. That would be just it, it would be too beautiful to watch. Could you imagine if you had Darren Waller and Foster Moreau? No, 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 no. <laughs> Rookie Foster. <laughs> Rookie Foster Moreau. He hasn't been the same in these, these past two years. There sure hasn't. Starting to get a little. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Foster is having too much fun out there going to going to Aces games and all kind of other shit. Like like let's 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 work on your game, big fella. And you're dressing. Damn man, shit. But that would be crazy if we did not. If if, if Hicks and Mac doesn't play, bro, that would be insane. Blowout. There it would there be no excuses. There yeah, should be no excuses. Our Raiders, absolutely. 
We'll still find, we'll, bro, we'll still, still find a way to win by a field goal. There should be no excuses, man. They were without Kenneth Murray. We couldn't get our run game going. They were without Chris Harris Jr. We couldn't get no goddamn – we couldn't get nothing pass-wise going first, what, three drives. Like, bro, that's sad as hell, first man. Half. Hey, first real, half. Quick, real quick, before Stu goes, real fast, we're 320 deep in the chat, you guys. Make sure you guys wipe them feet. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to all three of my brothers right here. I believe Unfiltered Truth needs about 20 more subs to 500. Stu needs 50 to 500. We're almost both of the both of you guys are almost there. Hell let's, yeah. get my, awesome. let's get my guys to 500 tonight, man. 453 for Stu. Please. There we, there we go. And I think I think Unfiltered is somewhere 475, somewhere around there. So let's get our guys up there, man. Shout out to the yeah, chat. 473. There we go. Shout out to the chat, man. Shout out to the chat. Definitely. Go ahead, Stu. So Moreg, he made a big play um, on fourth, on third and ten in the fourth quarter when he he got that ball. He he jumped up and knocked that ball down. You guys remember that? Yeah, that's that was what a, we were that talking was a, about. That was a nice freaking play. I think he might have been out of position a little bit, but he made Sorry, up for it, dude. So that was a hell of a play. Yeah, he went up to get that too yeah. with one arm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. No, I like I. Okay, I'm I'm glad you brought that to my attention because I was thinking that was little to no fucking time. No, <laughs> I'm like to have me confused like a motherfucker. I'm like, God damn, this dude's everywhere. No, but Littleton. Um, what I like about Littleton is he picks up those crosser routes very well. Yeah, he he just had he takes nice angles, man. He takes nice angles. And well, the reason is is because two years ago he was the. He was the number one linebacker in free agency. Yes. Coming from where? Rams. Okay. He was like, he was that guy getting pick sixes, sacks. He was yeah. doing everything for the Rams, man. He was a, all, a pro bowl and an all pro, I believe. Special yeah. teams guy and linebacker. Like, he, he was a well, great special teams well, player. Should, he should be making them fucking plays then. Fuck, I get yo. Oh, Jesus. Here's a steer. And, and guess what? Guess what? He was a he was a, a UDFA, and he played the end in college. In high College, college. Yep. What? High school, yep. too. Wow. Let me see. Cool Cat says, tell Stu to fix his notifications bell on his page. And, and also, also our slot corner, Nate Hobbs, is a fifth-round pick. Yep. Max Crosby is a fourth? Fourth. 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 He's you know? again. Yep. So, here, I want to look at this sack here. Uh, what is it? It's third and three again. Short yardage. He, why, I don't know why he's not throwing that fucking ball, dude. Waller's right there. He's got good position. He's not even looking at him. That That's a frequent issue that it's I have. Sad. Is he on the left side of the field or the right? He's he's coming from left to right right into the middle, right over the center. He's, I swear he's a half-field read quarterback for everything that you see him do, especially with pre-snaps. He'll look at the whole field pre-snaps. As soon as he hikes that ball, he, that dude is a half-field read quarterback. Man, I mean, fuck. Hey, Sultan, yes. Left. They are switching. We are switching Leatherwood to guard and putting Brandon Parker at right tackle. We're going to see how it's – we're going to see if it sticks. We're going to see if it sticks. But I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Happy with the move. Shout out to Pacey. And I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you for the uh, donation, King. Uh, uh, Pacey, what's up, my brother? Amik on the outside and Hobbs at nickel – or the other way around. No, you had it right the first time. Um, or switch back and forth throughout the game. They may switch up here and there, but I I'm keeping Hobbs at nickel. That's where he thrives. Yeah. And hey guys, we get outside. Hey, I'm, I'm looking at it right now, man. For whatever reason, and, and San Diego, San Diego picked up on it, and it was a, it was a theme for them. They're getting those either three or two man tight splits down, mm -hmm. and we're having a hard time getting through the bullshit dude they're not comboing it and they're running into each other just now i saw one where the linebacker two of the linebackers took one guy and the other guy was wide open man i don't know why they're struggling with that right now I, the more and more i watch it man they're like picking each other and stuff i don't know why I, like they just need to separate play some space and just uh be patient with it but they're they're getting caught up in the wash man that's not right. good getting over aggressive with it probably. they're just they're they're not communicating. They're not. They're not playing smart football. That's that's coaching, though. That's coaching. Yeah, that's coaching. And and youth or and youth. experience in the defense. Let me ask you this, Stu. Since I, and I know you're gonna probably give me the political 
uh, the politically correct answer because I know this is your friend. Do do you do you believe in Greg Olson, man, as an offensive coordinator? <laughs> Here's the ask you because because I'm gonna be honest. Either way, I, look, Gruden's not gonna allow him to do what he needs, what he wants Here, to do. Well. I'll hey, be, hey, I'll hey do you remember how you were talking about people just getting paid? I'll, I'll be completely honest. Okay, I I re, I have a lot of respect for him. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I consider him. Um, I would consider him a friend. Okay. Um, I don't, I mean, I know he's been in the league a long time. Um, so I don't really, to be honest with you, I don't know what, what type of offensive coordinator he really is. I, I really don't. Uh, when he was at Purdue, my, his fre- my freshman year, he was Breeze's from 97 to 2000. He was Breeze's quarterback. Quarterback coach. coach. Yeah. Then he went and got hired, I want to say, by San Francisco or Chicago, I think. It was a quarterback's coach out there. And then he came back because his wife was the head track coach at Purdue, and he wanted to come back. So he actually came back and was, for a year, was Purdue's tight end coach. And then he went back into the NFL and has been there for the last 20 years. So I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't, I don't really know him as an offensive coordinator. I just know he's a, he's a, he's a great guy. Um, whenever I saw any, any any interactions I saw with him and players was always positive. I've never heard a player say anything bad about the guy. He's been in the league a long time, so you know I I, I I'm gonna back him up, but I really don't have any. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I you get know, it. So, where, where was he at when you were when you were with us? Let's see. He was in. Um, was he with the Rams? That's a good, that's a dude. He's like, I mean, for a while there, it was like every year he was going to a different team. Right uh, now, Greg Olson is basically just our quarterback coach. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I would I would I would I would probably I would probably agree with that, you know. But again, that's just that's just me. Just I have no no uh, evidence. I I'm just saying that just because if I'm if I'm looking at Gruden and 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 my experience with guys like Gruden who has a persona who has right you know, he's he's kind of more of like a um a high profile coach i'm assuming right. he's he's got to have a, a pretty big ego so and yeah. i know greg does not greg is like like he's like the most unego type of dude you know what i'm saying so i could see how so I, it works so, so it works that's why gruden can do what he does then because because only ollie doesn't have a he doesn't have an ego uh, yeah, shout yeah. out to Colton, uh, bro. The reason why Nick Martin's not in is because he's not a good football player. Bad. Yeah. Is that forty four? Uh, no, no, no. This is another this is another center. That's that's oh, Nick Lukowski. You talking okay. about Nick Lukowski? Yeah. Um, there was forty four is a decent football player. Well, he missed that tackle, and I just I just saw it. Just he missed two tackles like in the same drive. I think. I, look, I know people say look, Deshaun Watson does hold on to the ball a lot because he's mobile. But there was he, Nick Martin was a huge part of him being sacked the most out of any quarterback in the league. He just isn't a good football player. And this is coming from a Notre Dame fan. He's just not a good football player to me. Like I just well, I can tell you this. I don't know if he's a worse football player than what we got now. So here you go, guys. So when I was playing, Greg Olson was with the Lions, the Rams, Tampa during that season. The okay. entire NFL. <laughs> so yeah. So you're looking at here. Here you go. Uh, it was Purdue quarterbacks, San Francisco quarterbacks, Purdue tight ends, Chicago quarterbacks, then 04 05 defensive, uh, offensive coordinator for the Lions, then the offensive coordinator for the Rams, then the Buccaneers, then Jacksonville, then Oakland, then Jacksonville, then Los Angeles Rams, and then back to Las Vegas. So, damn, bro. You highlight Musgrave, you highlight Bill Musgrave. Yeah, Bill Musgrave is currently killing the Cal Golden Bears offense. He gave, he got the job over there when I was covering the Bears, and I was like, dear God, he's going to destroy this team. Who is, and, who is that? That's the Bill Musgrave. What was he? He's an offensive coordinator at uh, Berkeley. And he was I, an offensive coordinator in 2016 when we went 12 and 4. Carr, yeah. Fort with Carr and and he went to he went to Berkeley and did the same thing nothing but screens on third down yeah gun runs it's it's just a mess he took a, he took a quarterback who I thought had a pretty decent chance of getting in the league he wasn't gonna be a first round pick with Chase Garbers and I'll be he's he's pretty close to ruin that dude's pro career 
Hey, real quick, chat. About five more minutes. I'm gonna go. Cal is not a football school, though. I'm gonna go spend. No, some it's time. not. It's, I'm it's, a, it's not, dude. It's. I'm gonna go spend some time with my wife because I'm, I leave Saturday to to, to Vegas. So, just letting y'all know, we got a few more minutes left. We over two hours, so. And let me ask you guys, what 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 is your? I go back and forth on. What's your feelings on Aaron Rodgers? Oh, I go first. If that if that man had uh, what Brady had defensive wise, he'd be the, regarded as the best quarterback of all time. That's what I say about it. I complete not, not even just that. If he had the coaching staff that that, that bro, uh, Aaron, you know, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is what the most talented, like the most, like he he's the most talented quarterback, man. Like what, that, is, what, what is it about him that makes him the most talented? There's nothing he can't do. He's mobile. Yeah. He's great in the pocket. He, he like he, he There's nothing he can't do. Yeah, he nothing. knows how to read the de- any defense. He, yeah. he's, just, he's a goat. He just he was in a situation in Green Bay where they have strung him out along with throughout his entire career and pretty much given him the the bare minimum to work with. Yeah. I mean, you would think that for a guy who's got his accolades, all his abilities, all his talents, all all his smarts that they would continuously Surround him with top tier level players around him, but the ten- and then wins MVP and then they draft his replacement. What the fuck? Like what? Not not even just that. Leading it, leading up to it, the way they sat him behind Brett Favre and the way that they continue to ship out all his top players. His offensive line has been well average at best for most of his career. Listen, the best thing that he could have done is sat those three or four years of sitting behind Brett Favre, saving his body learning from him, getting comfortable rather than just being shot out there like a rookie, like a Brady Quinn or some of these guys, and they're just out there getting their fucking asses kicked, not knowing shit, dude. I mean, that's that's four years of fucking some serious job training that does not even affect your body. You know what I mean? No, that's 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 a fair point. Fuck that I mean that's the best thing that could have fucking I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't do what about, as a person? what about as a person? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never really heard anything. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Hey, shout out to Marcus. He called me socks. That's, that's, that's dope. He called me socks. What's up, socks? Hey, what's up, socks? <laughs> I hate what Bosa said about Carr, and I can't wait till he, till we, till we see the chokers again. So we last see- game of the season. I'm week, telling you right yeah. now, that game is going to be for the division, bro. Week 18. Fireworks. That Week game 18. is going to be for the division, bro. Week 18, baby. Let's get it. Dave said Rodgers is not even top five. Oh, you tripping, bro. Let's all have what he's having, man. Well, I, wanna, I, don't I, even, I don't even know if I want pull it. Up his, <laughs> see, I want to see what he's got fucking going on. I mean, but it's like, you well, know. He has the best t- uh, receiver in the NFL. I thought you just said that. I just thought you said that was his issue, that they wouldn't bring him any, anybody in. Well, when you have one receiver, yeah, they drafted that guy. They didn't bring him in. Well, remember, as a receiver, even though you probably have the one of those top three receiving backs in the NFL. But again, man, that market, that's a fucking shit fucking market, man. I mean, it's hard to it's like it's like trying to get guys to come into Milwaukee, dude. I mean, it's. It's just tough. Yeah, nobody wants to go out there. <laughs> fuck no, them guys, them, them fucking receivers do that cold and shit, man. They don't oh, want man. nothing to fucking do with that shit. Let, let's put it like this, man. His top target is about to be a Raider next year. Yep. Devontae well, they, Adams will be a Raider. Who is it? Devontae Adams. They're going to tag him. They're not letting him leave Green Bay. Bro, he, he's going to He's not going to sign that. He's going to demand to get the hell out of there, bro. He won't sign it. That's the only that's that's the only first round because you know Vegas wants to have that first round pick because the draft is in Vegas. That's yeah. the only player you give up that first for. Like, like if you can get Devontae Adams and give up that first, I don't even care, bro. Bring Devontae in, take the first. That's a bigger prize. You can that sells tickets. We 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 can't draft in the first round anyway. So go get Adams and, and have him. Be have his face on billboards all across Vegas, yep. and, and, and let's sell let's sell some tickets and some merch, straight up. Yeah, but we don't need we don't have any problem selling tickets, all right? No, uh, no, nah. But at the end of the day, you can still make some more money. 
That's the that's the biggest superstar since Mac. Yeah, facts. What is it? He's the biggest superstar since Mac. If he comes with us. Oh, oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, he's yeah. on that level. Yeah. You're talking about he comes to the Raiders. Everybody's gonna be wearing that seventeen. You get the best receiver yeah. in the league. That's 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 big. You you get a you get a you get a um. Yeah, an Antonio Brown redo, but without the without the headache. Bro, we're talking about he had 17 touchdowns last year as a fucking receiver. Here you go, guys. Hey. Or 19, 19, 19. That's crazy. Bro. Here, here you go, guys. Aaron Rodgers, Super Bowl champ, Super Bowl MVP, three-time NFL MVP, three-time first team all pro, second team all pro, nine-time pro bowler, three-time NFL passing rating leader, two-time NFL passing touchdown leader, NFL completion percentage leader. NFL 2010's All Decade Team, Associated Press Athlete of the Year in 11, Burt Bell Award in 2011, and he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten NFL records. And all of that was having subpar defenses. Meanwhile, and like Phil said, subpar offensive lines, subpar and, offensive line, and passed off wide receivers. Well, I don't know. I mean, meanwhile, had, Tom Brady <laughs> over here. They had Nick Collins and Harris and and, and uh yeah there's Wilson players and there's players uh, but you look, and uh, he hasn't had a defense ranked what fifteenth in years. Who is that average? Had from UCLA. What was his fucking name? I mean, meanwhile, Brady got top five for like. <laughs> who knows? Say that, say that again. What'd you say? Brady has top five defenses multiple times in his career, like. We're talking about Aaron Rodgers has never even seen a top ten. Yeah. Mm. Charles, facts, bro. Give him a first in our net. <laughs> you have it. They won't take that ever. They need a corner anyway. Well, <laughs> that, that, our net's not in a corner. Hey, they don't know our that. Our net's a rapper. They, they don't know listen, that. You need to tell them that Arnett is the greatest corner that had ever done it before. Ever. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 taught, he taught Prime how to do it. That's how good he is. Ever. Ever. Why, why wouldn't Why wouldn't uh, Rodgers want to come back to the Bay? He wants to. He probably would want to go to the Niners, but the Niners got Trey oh, Lance. What am I thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking the Raiders, but now we're in Vegas, so never mind. Fuck. At the end of the day, man, DC came in. And he's balling out of his mind right now. It as is. long as Aaron Rodgers or Deshaun Watson doesn't land up in fucking Denver, good. Oh well, I, I think that's where Rodgers goes. You think he's you can, you 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 you're standing by DC is balling out right now? Yeah, he's he's a leading he's hell leading, yeah leading pass he's the passing leader in the league right yards. now. Yeah, yards yards, yards. yards. easy. Yeah, not touchdowns, he, not touchdowns, not ratings, not completion percentage. Just yeah, yards. you got to be careful on what stats you're talking. Okay, about. but okay, but let let's put it like this, Phil. When he was leading the NFL in completion percentage, everybody was killing him because he's not throwing the ball downfield. Dink and dunk. Now he's throwing the ball downfield, making big plays to a fast receiver, and his completion percentage only goes down 3%. So why why is that a problem? I, I don't think it is a problem. So it's like, you know, like – We got to get fucking points, though, man. Fuck. I mean – This all – This, this offense, ball, the way that it's currently set up and constructed based off what I've seen, if he try, if they try to do that dink and dunk shit, it's not going to work. They're going to fail, crash, and burn miserably. This offense does not take off until he starts chucking the ball deep. For everybody that wanted to see Mad Bomber Carr go back and start letting it rip, this is that year. The run game is shit. The run blocking has been shit. You, the best bet this team has is to go spread and throw it forty to fifty times a game. Yeah, that's that's he, their he, best, that's their best some... bet in the run late. Run late in the second half. I thought for a, for a, for a seasoned NFL quarterback, he he looked somewhat of like a timid, un, unsure rookie in that in that Chargers game. Man, he was staring down receivers. He was not. I just he just seemed uncomfortable. I don't know what it was. I don't. I, I, but still, though, I mean, right. fuck. He, 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 that's not nothing new. I mean, that's but that's what Bosa was saying. I mean, Bosa said the quiet part out loud. Like everybody around the league knows knows that that's what Carr is. They just don't say it. Yeah. They think he's soft. I don't. I, but I don't understand that narrative. The, like I don't. I don't get it. I don't. E I don't either. Because I. I know. How, I, how do you play with bone broken bones in your back, but you're soft? 
Well, this, but this is, I get what bro is saying though, because this has been the, the, the narrative that's been kind of swept under the rug the past couple of years is that DC is soft. That's why he's, that's why he's usually never mentioned amongst the elite quarterbacks. Who's saying that ever. though? Who, hey, who's saying that? Is it, is it players? I've, I've heard players. I think, it's a, I think it's a thing within players. Yeah. A players. lot of people play. If you notice, he didn't even get voted to the uh, top 100, top 100 players this year. At all. That speaks volumes right there. Yeah. And this is what three years in a row over four thousand yards. Yeah. Let's and see. You're not a top one hundred. I mean, KJ Wright made the top one hundred. Yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah, Corey King. Davis made the top one hundred, man. That's what I'm saying. Wait, what I, the these fuck? are the Corey players Davis voting. Did? These are the players voting. It's not media. It's he was one hundred. He was one hundred. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. That's well, crazy. is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? He's too. And I, don't, and I don't think he saw it. The NFL is going what, what towards is the Deshaun Watsons. They're going towards the Lamar Jacksons. They're going towards that kind of football. That's what they're going towards. And when is, he, is, he, is, he, is he too minding his P's and Q's? You know, is he too religious? Is he too just, you know, not a guy who's going to, um, you know, kick it up with his buddies and shit like that? You know what I'm saying? He, like, doesn't, he doesn't cuss. See that, you know, what I mean, he, he's he's very much in, you know, saying to God, you know, he's a Christian. And he watches man. the rush that that that's the main issue that it, that it, everybody cites is that he watches he watches the rush. If you show him a blitz, you hit him with it maybe once or twice, you can show it to him the rest of the game and he'll respond what? like everybody's coming. Do they have any hot checks? Does he ever do any hot reads? Bro, his double just, they double the check downs. That's that's the other half of that. Show him the blitz, double the check downs. Falls apart. I, I would I, not. I wouldn't say he I falls apart. Seen, I will. Guys, guys who are very, very, very religious, Ted, they just don't have that 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 chip and that assholeness that you kind of gotta have out there, man. Hey, Philip Rivers did. But Philip Rivers will cuss you out. He will, no, no, he would never curse. He wouldn't cuss now, at all. He would talk about you like a dog, but he would never curse. Yep. What religion is he? Like a fucking Christian. Christian too. You would think you would think he was a, a Mormon with all the well, oh, kids. Oh, is he got right? Yeah. Yeah, but still though, just because just because he's not swearing, he's still you know he's still having. Yeah, he's, oh, he was fiery. With, yeah, without yeah. Far I mean, more fiery than Derek. When you're just. Man, I don't. Uh. Russell Wilson. What? He's very religious. Very religious. No, that's real. That's real. But he still gets it done. Yeah, because didn't he didn't he do that whole thing where they didn't have sex or something? And I don't believe that, but that's what he said. Who? Wait, what? Remember when he was? They went after yeah, him. Yeah, he were, thought he was AC Green. He was not, not having sex right. as a court. He, 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 he was knocking CC shit back, bro. There ain't no Man. way in hell. You know what I'm you, saying? You I, I don't believe that, that long and not, Nah, bro. There ain't no way, yeah, bro. I'm not being with C Sierra. You with her for uh, that long? It was her, no, it was her. It was her idea, though. Right yeah. after, right yeah. after she broke up with Future and Fifty. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He was knocking the bottom out of her shit. There ain't no way, bro. Nah, I like I like Russell Wilson, but I I don't think he's he's because guys are emotional when they he's I don't know he's I wouldn't probably hang out with him. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be fucking hanging out with him. Now, like I don't hey, know, but... it's just you gotta kind of I mean I don't know, man. You gotta you gotta. I know quarterbacks have that role, but you still gotta be kind of a a little fucking. There's gotta be an asshole in there somewhere. You can't always be like the fucking. Given the right answers in the play, well, well, Bo, when when he was talking about what Bosa said about him, he said that he feels like the reason why Bosa said it was because they were going back and forth the whole game. Probably, yeah, yeah. He said that him and Bosa were well, talking. Right here, he just he started it off with "I love Joey." Yeah, 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 yeah. That that's <laughs> that right there makes me. Sound but, but you have to realize too that Joey said that DC is a good guy too. People just read the headline and ran with it, you know. Yeah, no, no, he's, he's, I, I, I don't like all this lovey dovey shit between uh, rivals, bro. To be honest, with I don't you. either. Well, really... that's, and after the man just tested your manhood and saying basically that you're considered a kind of a pussy, oh, bitch. That's what he said. Yeah, I mean, I, I got. I want to hear what Bosa said. Now. And and then well, when he said it after, he held afterwards. That that was the cute part about that. What you was know, it? 
you ain't heard Max say shit all year about getting hell, but Joey Bosa's over here talking shit about quarterbacks and complaining. That's about Ohio State. Game. That's Ohio State guys, man. That's what a fucking Ohio State dudes do. Or, or, let's see here. Uh, I want. Yeah, I love Joey. I mean, ah, dude. I don't, I don't know if that's right. David Paris says, "Yo, what's good, my dudes? Quick question: Do you guys think our O line can tighten up so we can make the postseason? Because without a solid line, we ain't going nowhere." That's what they've been working on, Dave. They, they that, like, I think, I think that's exactly running. what. Yeah, that's what we started today in practice, right? Shifting guys to different positions, seeing what worked. Um. The only thing I got to say about that, David, is the fact that uh, you take your second best offensive yeah. lineman and put him on the bench. Why, why would you put a Luminor on the bench? I, I wouldn't. But then you look and you go, you pull back the tape, and all of, all that pass rush is coming from the right side, right in right in between. Uh, I want to say him and Leatherwood. And so when I once I stopped and I thought about that, I was like, well, there I feel like the whole thing with with. Car and when people and say pressure team, this uh, and all that right. shit, it it's it's it's, it's like so we just how say like it's like you almost have no proof when you say that. Game he said it, he he copped to it. Is what what he said bothers him more than anything is free runners. He got you good when he sees a free run when he sees a free runner coming at him. That's all he focuses on. Okay, but how can we say that he's bad with pressure when? He wins us the Ravens game that fucking sent seven every fucking play. Like, that's pressure. When you lead the NFL and come back victories, that's pressure. The fu- when you play with broken bone in your back, that's tough. Hey, man. do you guys think you guys think shout out to David, man? Do you guys think we can tighten up this whole line? Uh, yeah, I I I, I have I to it believe it. Unfortunate that he even huh? think to I, I gotta see it to believe it. Hey, Stu, can you turn that down a little bit, bro? Just a little bit. What? You're yeah, uh, making love off the screen, bro. Come on. We can hear what you're talking about. And then I think if you're a quarterback, every quarterback has, hates a free rusher. I don't I don't know any quarterback that likes to see that shit. Especially if it's a D lineman. I don't want that shit coming at me. So, so. So peep game, and, and I respect that, and and you're right, and that that's that's basically what Shannon Sharp said was that, that that's the recipe for every quarterback. That's not that's not exclusive solely to Carr, but I would invite you to turn around and look at the Charger game, mm-hmm. the one where Derek got hurt, and you saw how how bad it looked up until the time that Mariota came in and was able to handle that very same rush in a different way. They're not the same guy. And being different, different quarterbacks handle the rush in different ways. Right. I, I'm not going to sit up here and say that Derek that Derek can't handle the rush because I he can. Don't. There's a rule of thumb usually in blitzing when you when somebody blitzes, you usually throw the ball right behind the blitzer because that's a spot that's been vacated. But <laughs> but, but I, I agree with what you're saying because Mariota definitely made plays on the rush. You know, he fucking dove into the end zone, damn near did a front flip. You know, like. Mariota's a he's an athlete, man. Like he's an athlete. But at the same time, oh, when, you're, Herbert, they want to hit when you're when you're when you're in Gruden's system, like you know, it's not really necessarily built for that. Like we saw in that same game, Mariota almost threw like fucking three picks. Like, you know, like that wasn't good either. And then he threw one pick. In my opinion, I don't think it was his fault. I thought that was more on Zay. It was a little bit behind him, but Zay Jones man. tried to catch it with one hand. Man, I just feel like it, it man, comes he, would die on this roster. he would die on this roster, bro. I don't care. He cannot throw the ball, fling the ball around like DC. DC is carrying his team on his shoulders right now, bro. If Mariota had a run behind his line, and don't get me wrong, he's great with his legs. I just don't see it, bro. I see, I see, I see him get destroyed, bro. He's also, already- also, DC, bro. <laughs> The fact that he can go up to a line and audible to a completely fucking different play and make something work out of that after your quarter, your your head coach is giving you and sending you off to the to the line of scrimmage with a play that doesn't work, like bro, I I, I don't understand it when it comes to car, like bro, I don't understand it at all. I don't. What you say? What you what you say? He he does he does check, bro. This man audibles fucking every like every. 
game all the time, all the time. You'll see it every game. I, when it comes to Derek Carr, man, I don't understand why he gets hate. And I get it. It's because th- th- this is why. This is why. He's been known to be conservative on plays where he shouldn't be conservative, right? He'll throw the fucking ball away on third down. And at the end of the day. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Phil. I seen that. What? I I, I want you to say that because I thought it was the total opposite. What? Second half plays were the ones that were scripted. So when the Raiders came in and started scoring and went on their offensive run, those were the plays that were scripted by the coach. I thought it was the opposite. It is the opposite. Those aren't scripted. Those are adjustments. That's not scripted. Scripted was first half. Scripted is what you watch film on the week before. Yeah, the first 15 plays, and then you make your adjustments. That's what it's supposed to be. And that's what it is. That's what it is. That's why we see for 11 weeks in a row we can't get a fucking first down because what's scripted isn't working. Adjustments and scripted is different. And get under pressure. Now, JD, JD said it best. Shout out to everybody that's been putting the supers in and stuff. Shout out to JD. He said the hate comes from the lack of wins. Well, no, and, I mean, what, oh. what, what about the last throw there? What throw? The interception. So you're trying to fucking make a play, bro. Like, yeah. you're down 14. You're down 14. You got to throw the ball. Yeah, but, dude, I mean, hold on. Let me see. Now, the question that I would have had if you want to talk about something was why is he sliding? Why is he sliding and getting back up to run another play? But I mean, dude, I mean, that please. I understand you got to make yeah, Here's what I think. Here's what I think, Stu, on that play. Well, I feel like I feel like with when it comes to him and Waller, he just goes out on the field thinking Waller is better than every single person he's going to line up against. I felt like that pass, he had that predetermined. He Absolutely. Absolutely. He thought that Waller was just gonna. He thought that 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 corner. I mean, Waller was just gonna beat. Uh, what's his name, Derwin? But he's and looking, he doing. But he's nine looking, times out of ten, Waller will. He's looking, yeah. but he's looking right at. He's I mean, he, he him can down. clearly yeah. see the DB has perfect position, and he fucking throws right to him. It's not like he's looking off and comes back and throws it. He's staring him down and still throws it. I think at that point, DC was like, "Fifty game is done." Yards. He's like 50 50 ball. Like, let's just see what happens. Well, not only that, you're but telling on me that particular with play, three, everybody with three else is to go And if he catches it there on the 30 yard line, that he's going to say game's over with down by 14. No, you're I, deep. You still got to get a, either on site or get a defensive stop. We didn't have all three timeouts. We if wasted that, if, one. If that is what he's thinking, then they do need to get rid of him because there's no way, dude. I mean, you're you're in that game until down 14. No, 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 no. We're saying the game was over, so it's it's not. He definitely didn't think the fucking game was over. He but was I'm just, he was, yeah, that he was going down swinging. swinging. Yeah, that that that. But I'm saying it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's it's right to the guy, and he's staring at him. Why would you make that decision as a? I'm a telling guy you, it was a predetermined pass. He thought his guy was gonna beat their guy, and he threw it. Hey, let me ask you guys: Is why do That's you guys? Just not- a, I mean, as as a guy that we're saying is is a. You know, a beast and doing all this shit, man. That just—I don't know. That was not a good. That was a bad fucking play. And let me ask y'all: that was a terrible why, fucking why, why play. Do think, why do you think DC didn't audible at all this last game? It, it's not, he didn't See, that's what I was saying. I—I—I I, I haven't seen him audible worth anything. I, that was I'm surprised that you said that—that that he does audible. No, he audible. He, he does it a lot. Yeah, that, he that, That's a, a strength. Lot. That's the strength of his game is to audible. Like to me, DC is one of the best. Quarterbacks at reading defenses at the line. At yeah, the but, then line. Went, but then why didn't he audible this game then? Uh, that's weird to me. I, I don't know if it was if it was designed that way. I, I, I don't. I just honestly don't get it. I, it, I don't, it was it was a lot of strange things about this game. I mean, like you a said, lot of over them, delay. Lot of I mean, think. Look, look, let's look at the symbolism. You literally had a lightning storm around a new Char- building for the Chargers on Monday Night Football. Getting charged at up. Off time. Yeah. Getting charged up. Getting charged up. I, from that moment, then there was some type of issue with communication where the, uh, the league was having direct communications with the refs or some shit like that. Uh, and I was just like, whoa, this is all kinds of weird. I don't know. I don't know. When it, when it, comes, to, when it comes to Derek Carr... I just don't understand the 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 problems that uh that I don't understand the hate that he gets. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. 
it, it, it's re- it really it, it, it's a, he's a polarizing figure. It, it's like, and I I call him Mister Fifty Fifty because everything you say about him is right. Everything good that you could say about Carr is absolutely correct. You could lay you could lay out tapes. You could lay out clips. You could lay out stats. You could lay out everything that would say that Derek Carr is this guy that you say he is. I, I've been called a hater for pointing out the other side of the coin. I could lay out stats, clips, and everything that I say that would suggest that he's not as good as everybody says he is. And, and what would that be? What would it be that he's not – what would be the other 50? So, that the, so J.D. says quick throws. You heard, you've heard multiple players come out and say – that if you that if you get him rattled, he'll fall apart. This, this is coming from players, his peers, not just. I've only heard one player say it. say it. I've heard the honey badger say it. I've heard him say it. And Jeff, then the week after, what happened to the Jamal honey badger? Adam said something similar to it. It, it. Who else was it? Somebody from the Ravens as well. It, it's been said by a bunch of by a few different people. It, it's not new. I mean, what? I mean, here, here's the thing. What happened? What happened to to Tyron Matthew after he said that about DC? Fucking, he goes right at him. Nelson Aguilar, seventy two yard bomb over his fucking head. So, I mean, you can say stuff, right? But I don't, I don't, I don't really understand. Like, where, where's the proof that when you put pressure on him, he he gets he gets rattled? Where's the proof on that? Uh, what are we up to? Fifty and a hundred and something, a hundred and sixty-one, hundred sixty-two. What his overall record? And does that not have to play with his fucking defense? You are what your record says you are, young youngster. You <laughs> are what your record says you are. Hey. That, I mean, I, I think I think def- I think football doesn't get played only on offense. You're right; it doesn't. Can, it can is we, a can, team game. Can we can we agree with this? Yeah. Can, can we agree to disagree? But we'll say this: when car is on, car is on. Yep. When car is off, car is off. He's off. And then, but this is the thing: he'll have a day where he's off, like a game where he's off, and then he'll be right back to doing what he was doing. Yeah. Every quarterback has that shit. So why is Derek Carr the one that gets shitted on the most? It doesn't make sense at all. Derek Carr put us in a position to win 11 fucking games last year, but because he had a horrible game against the Falcons, everybody's going to talk about the Falcons game. Well, no, but here's the thing. are you Is he getting shit from the league, or is he well, getting yeah. shit from Raiders fans? Bo- it goes from both. It goes That's from right. both. Well, there's a difference there because if, if the fans who actually watch the games aren't giving him shit, you know, obviously people are just going to fucking hate against the Raiders regardless. You know what I'm saying? So if it's Raiders fans doing it, then that, if, if he's a great quarterback, the fans shouldn't be saying anything. There must be something there that is missing. He's a, he's a good quarterback. He does everything he needs to do, but because he doesn't run out of the pocket for 30 yards, he's not what the, he's not what the fans want. You think you think the Raiders fans want a mobile quarterback? They like the long Dude, one. Man, the Raiders fans were screaming for fucking Marcus Mariota. Like that just shows you right there. Marcus Mariota is not half the quarterback he is. Well, let me say this: it, it it was a nation divided. It, everybody wasn't screaming for Mariota. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now: there's people that's like Phil that that that'll give DC his kudos when he deserves it, and he gonna shit on him when he deserves it. And then there's people that think DC can do nothing wrong. And then, and then there's people that think DC does every, you know, saying like does everything wrong. So, he, mm-hmm. you know yeah, what yeah. I mean, so it's just it's no in between. There's no, yeah. 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 I, I was the person that said, look, if you can get a Deshaun Watson or an Aaron Rodgers, go get them. Uh, and, and I got killed for it. But it is what it is. I don't give a fuck. I'm not. I'm not going to apologize for for being for being able to go out and get one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Let me let me, let me put it like this, bro. Patrick fucking Mahomes threw four interceptions, but nobody cared. You know why? Because the next next week after that, he was throwing the same dumbass underhand throws yeah. that made the media go crazy. That's all it is right now, man. That's all it is. But like, he bro, has, he, he please. Has a Super Bowl under his belt. Yeah, right. in three years. Three years. I will. I will say for whatever reason, I don't know what it is, but 
But if we're comparing Mahomes to D.C., then D.C. is doing something right. If we're comparing Mahomes to D.C., then D.C. is doing something right. But for whatever right? reason, there's just players that get the hype, and there's other players that just don't. And I don't, I don't know what it is that causes it, but it it just happens. And I don't know. I don't know. And once once you get a label, that's it. I mean, you'll you'll get the benefit. Like Mahomes and those guys, no matter what, they'll say, well. That one great play makes up for all these fucking shit ones, you know? Literally, bro. Like, and it's unfortunate, you know? And then Derek will make a lot of great plays, but then the one bad play he makes, that's what they focus on. And look, look, here, here's what I'll say. The, all the time, he was getting killed because of the throwaways on third and fourth down. He would throw the ball away on fourth down. That shit would piss me off. Because on fourth down, try and fucking oh, well, yeah, absolutely. Oh, give give the jump ball to somebody, bro. Throw it down the that field. shit that shit would piss me off badly. But here's what I'll say. If you're throwing the ball away on third down, you're not taking a sack. That's what you're taught to do. The only reason why it looks so bad when he does it is because for years before his defense couldn't give him a fucking stop to back up that conservative play. That's that's what it is. When you when you're making a smart play by throwing the ball away, not throwing a pick, not putting your defense in a worse position, and your defense still can't back you up and make a stop for you and put you back on the field without giving up seven points, that's why it looks bad. That's why it looks bad. Because when he makes a conservative play, when he makes a smart play, by throwing it away instead of taking a sack or throwing a pick, his defense goes out and gives up another seven points. So now he's trying to play catch-up. Bro, it's hard to play catch-up when your defense is fucking 30th in the league. At the, like, end, of the, bro, day, at the it, end of the day, bro, win football games. That's it. Win football games. Yeah, that's it. Win football games. You win football games. Everybody's gonna be sold on what you on what on what, on what you what you provide. Period. Point blank. Win some games. All these eight and eights and seven and nines and four and twelves. That's just not gonna cut it. I don't give a fuck. I've seen other quarterbacks with terrible defenses get to the playoffs. Yeah, you're right. You're so right. So at you're the end of the day, look. I, yes, Andy, you are. And right. that, that's why you were saying go 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 out and get an Aaron Rodgers because he's done it with the 19th ranked defense, right? Yep. But this is what I'm saying. If you have to compare Derek Carr to a Deshaun Watson and an Aaron Rodgers, why are we killing the man over little shit? Because clearly at that point, he's doing something right. Red zone percentage. Well, yeah, how, how many I'm, red I'm zone very, targets has he had? How many targets? How many reds? How red what have they been in the red zone for the last? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, okay, what happened in the red zone? They've been twenty two and twenty three in the red, red zone, zone for the last two years. That has nothing to do with the defense. Who who he led the run. league? Who led the league last year in red zone rush attempts? Josh Jacobs. He's not getting all the chances in the world to pass the ball. And when we do, how many times have we the line of scrimmage? How how many times have we seen Darren Waller go out wide to go and catch a fucking fade route? Never. John Green who, has the, who has the autonomy to change the play at the line of scrimmage. Derek Carr, but if 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 you're in a position, if you're in a position where you feel like, hey, this run could work, you're gonna hand the ball off still. You're not gonna be selfish. He's like been 22 and 23 in red zone in the last two years. And your coach is continuing to call plays that, as you can see this year, clearly aren't working. At what point do you, the person who can change the play, actually do something about it? Hey, and, and, and we discussed this. It. We discussed. That, we had was, a- that was the difference between Carr and Gannon. Gannon did the made those changes. Gannon made the MVP. Gannon went to the playoffs. Gannon went to the Super Bowl. That's where yeah. Carr needs to go to get his respect. And until and he gets right. to that point. It's always going to be right here where we're bringing it, where we're making good points. You're making good points. I'm making good points. And the last thing stands with what Graphic said. You got to win. Okay. But, Graph, didn't didn't we have a big conversation about this? Uh, I think it was in the offseason when we were talking about Aaron Rodgers and Deshaun Watson. Why is it that, that mm-hmm. Derek Carr – does everything right up until the red zone. Don't you feel like the play calling and the play caller doesn't give him that much freedom once you get down there? Because if he checks the ball from his one, if he checks plays and he audibles from his one yard line, but the second you get in between those 20 yards, he no longer doesn't look like he has that freedom anymore. Let me tell you you this. Great quarterbacks don't give a fuck, right? Like like Tom Brady don't give a fuck what Belichick tells him on the sideline. When you in the red zone, Great quarterbacks do what the fuck they want to do. 
Yeah. Aaron Rodgers, he's gonna say, I do this, I do this. Let me Look do this. Back at the coach and say, Fuck you. This is what we're running. <laughs> fuck, you. fuck you. I'm gonna throw this bitch up the wall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, I, I'm just saying, but but I that I that's that I, I agree. That's that's like here's the thing I hear. We're when we talk about them, there's always kind of a uh a, a yeah, but like well, yeah, but the defense, or yeah, what he gets in here, it's the reds, it's you know, it's the, the coaching or the play calling and the great ones, that shit don't fucking matter, dude. They just they they find and when you when where would you rank him? Would you consider him top a, eight. a Hall of Fame quarterback? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no. all right. Okay. That's what I was that's no, what hell I, no. Okay. Okay. With, all right. with no with no playoff appearances, which I give him one because 2016 he led this yeah. playoff. So I, he has one playoff, you know what I'm saying? One playoff under his belt, which he couldn't play that game because he broke his ankle. But, but at the end of the day, bro, you have to win some championships. Are your expectations too high? No, no. To me, to me Carr is a top ten quarterback. Yeah, but but there's only one quarterback that can win a Super Bowl in the league right now. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah, top ten. Yeah, I Ladies mean, really, dude. Right? I'd, I'd put him eight. I'd put him at eight. I had him at I had him at seven, eight as well. Yeah, so, but the way he's looking right now. I mean, shit. I mean, you he's, can say he's, he's, top, he's higher. Top seven quarterback, top five. But, how long but, has he? How long has he been in the league? Eight, eight years. years. I mean, th- he is who he. I mean, that this, he is who he is. I mean, he's what he's making now. I don't see all of a sudden. Okay, but you, look, you right? look at the you look at the one he's year gotten, he he's won. Gotten better, he's gotten better in Gruden's uh, system every year that he's been there. In four years under and what and how winning games? <laughs> no, 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 no. And now see, that's the one. His that's play, like his personal yeah, play. But the thing that but matters. Like saying, how said, are you judging it? You're going off of uh, percentages. Or are you going off? No. Of- here, here's what I'm saying. Because the year that he won us 12, 12 games. Because actually, well, we went twelve and four. You know, Khalil Mack had a big part of us winning twelve games. He closed out a couple games. Yeah. Um, you look at it though. He never had a defense ranked twentieth. The one time he had a defense ranked twentieth, he wins twelve games. I know, but but still, just just going you know, when you're talking about him, what is it that he's improved on every year? What, what? Uh, uh, it was it was like with him, his completion percentage was always high, but he never had he never eclipsed the four thousand yards with Gruden. Each year with Gruden, he had the four thousand yards. No, no, um, I'm gonna say this word right here. This is the word. This is how he gets better every year. Command. He has command of the offense. Like like you you can tell that he's more comfortable year in and year out in the system. Oh, this definitely. Year, you yeah. can tell that he has no doubt, no doubt. the offense. Um, but what I want to know, like, what what is it? Is is he? You can say he's commanding, but what do you see? Overall, is- he's getting a complete player. Like, um, well, well, something that he's gotten better at is making plays when the play breaks down. He's not doing it every single time the play breaks down, but he's you know he's he's gotten a little bit better. You know, like that Dar- that Darren Waller that Darren Waller touchdown. He created so- that shit. Like Sean yeah. said, making plays outside of the pocket, which yes. you cannot do that. Pre-snap play, the audibles, all that crazy shit, command and leadership. Yeah. He, he does he does have all those qualities. But I know where you're going with this, Stu. You're going with, with, with what me and Phil are talking about. Win games. You mm-hmm. have to win games. Well, no, no, no. That's not even – that's not necessarily – I'm asking you guys for real. Like when you say there's so many different categories that you can look at to judge a player, I'm just wondering what one as a quarterback do you guys put emphasis into – Say yeah, this guy's getting better. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm asking because I'm extending I, I plays is definitely extending plays is definitely something he's grown on. That's one thing. Uh, like I said, his completion percentage. He's always been a pretty accurate quarterback, like all the time. It, it's always been him and Breeze, always up at the top. He needs to work on limiting the turnovers. Like the, the, he every year he leads the league in fumbles and quarterbacks. I swear, it's like he just oh he does. Yeah, like he fum- he has little ass every hands, year. Bro. And he just fumbles all all the damn time. Okay, okay. But when it comes to picks, he never leads the league ever. He's never. He's nowhere near no. that. No. Uh, so when we're talking about turnovers, it's fumbles, not the fucking. Most, the most he's had is what nine somewhere around there. Like, nah, uh, I think in, in a season, he hit double digits once. In a season, yeah. We're yeah, talking about picks. Season. Yeah, picks. Oh, picks. I'm thinking about fumbles. Yeah, he doesn't oh, yeah, throw fumbles. the ball over a lot with picks. Fumbles too, but now he doesn't throw a lot of picks. Well, here you go. Let's see. Fumbles. DC, DC usually throws most of his picks when, when the game is like when the get we're, when we're out of it and he's trying to make something he's out of trying something. to sling it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Dude, usually sixty six times he's fumbled it and he's lost at thirty one. 
just under fifty percent. Yeah, that's a lot. That seems that's a. I mean, I I don't look, I don't know what other quarterbacks. That seems high, right? I mean, that's eighty definitely. year, definitely. At least eighty year, almost. Yeah, that I'm okay. And, and a lot. All, a lot. Is it all just sacks? Sack fumbles? Say, hold on, real quick. Most of them are sack that. fumbles, but it's been a couple of times where it's been uh. Like fumbled snaps, right? Feel like under center hooks, fumbled, box fumbled snaps. snaps, and uh, box well, here you go. Handoffs. Let's see what his hands, how big his right. hands DC, are. His hands DC, are. DC has had some great O lines in his career. That is not on the O line. No, hey, his not hands always. aren't that small, bro. They're they're over nine inches. Yeah, that's what she said. But oh, big paws. <laughs> I mean, he ain't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I feel so, like with, uh, with a lot, of, but I mean, you look at it. What he's already had. He's already gotten strip sacked what three times this year? Yeah. Yeah. And Dan, he said Dan Marino has 110 fumbles. Okay, so hold on. How many does DC? Well, have? there's there's a guy you want to talk Dan Marino. He they he didn't have fucking shit around him at all. Yeah. And he had no he had no uh, escapability. And he played a long time though. He played a long long time. And that was back when quarterbacks could get fucking Hit too. Remember, yeah, nice. we're getting fumbles here when you your quarterbacks can't even get touched. Yeah. I'm telling you, when I used to watch his brother play, that motherfucker was getting smoked, rushed, dude. like, and he would get up every time, dude, and he wasn't fumbling it. And like, actually, that's like, I'm gonna okay. I want to see. That's why when people were saying he was soft, I'm like, if he be if he's even half of the toughness of his brother. He's fucking tough, man. So that surprised me when I was hearing that. Well, I mean, this. There, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I I wouldn't agree with the soft shit. I don't. I don't understand yeah, what that's. that's I mean, yeah. yeah no, that, what, what, what was it? His goddamn finger popped out. And he well, popped it back in. I don't think it was soft. It just said he got shook. Yeah, 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 shook. yeah, 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 yeah. Shook. Which you know, I mean, fuck. I, I'm sorry, man. I, look, you can't be soft playing a quarterback in the NFL. I, no, I, I no. just I don't. You could be softer than others, but you can't yeah. be soft. Like you know, what I'm saying like that doesn't make any sense, bro. You, you're you're literally a quarterback. In the I NFL. think that the most known fumble right there is the one that D Raiders said. Oh, that shit Dallas, hurt. The Dallas one. That hurt, man. That oh. that fuck, man. So his brother, his brother, in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven years, fumbled it seventy one times and lost twenty two of them. Damn. Sacked 267 times. Phil, let me ask you this real quick. Wow. Because I know you're getting a little uh, getting a little ate up for the whole DC debate. But let me ask you this. We're it's a great right? debate, man. That shit's no, always is, good. But we're, we're I look, I, look, I respect all my brother's opinions because we're all everybody everyone has their own fa they're all facts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, and, that's, and, and that's the one unique thing, the one thing that is characteristically unique to Derek Carr that I've never seen with anybody else is that. Yeah. Both sides are literally a hundred percent accurate. So yeah. But with that being said, let me ask you. Wait, say that. What was it? Say that again. I said both sides. Whether you hate them, you say I could. You could find a bunch oh, of them. What the just left. Well, you still know what? That. Still, I was about to. I had this big explanation all planned out. Now nobody's gonna get it. <laughs> His phone probably died. So let me say this: <clears throat> Are we three and one without DC? No. Fuck no. Okay. So at the end of the day, we know that DC is doing at least something right, right? Yes. Are we four and zero with Aaron Rodgers? Yes. yes. <laughs> that was simple. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers isn't throwing a pick six to Miami in, in, in like in the. That was game. not DC's fault. How, like, what are you? <laughs> uh, come on, come on, come on, y'all, y'all, y'all is tripping now. Come on now. Oh no, 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 no my bad. That that was no, not not, not oh, you. No. I'm looking in the comment section of people saying we wouldn't be four and zero with Aaron Rodgers. I'm like, come on now, y'all. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, my bad. I, 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 yeah. I, I shit. I, I completely blanked. I yes, the pick six was his fault. It was com it was miscommunicated. But it's no buts. That motherfucker read that bitch wrong. <laughs> that one guy. Let me say this, bro. Aaron Rodgers. I know he's older, but he still uses his legs. Bro, that he will get out of there, bro. He'll get out of there quick. Get out of there. Quick and fast. Are oh, we losing people left and right now? No, nah, Aaron Rodgers will get out of there. Hey, matter of fact, bro, bro, I'm about to go spend some time with my wife, man. My right. bring me back in here. Phil, yeah, I love yeah. you, brother. We out of there. I love you, brother. I'm about to subscribe to the unfiltered truth on YouTube. I need 20 more follows. Hey, on the way out, everybody go subscribe to all three of my brothers. Right. Yeah.
Go hit up Phil. Go hit up Andy. Subscribe to them. Uh, this was a great debate. I love always talking about DC. Everybody gets rattled about. This I don't even think it was a debate, though. I mean, I don't think it was a debate. I think well, it's just it's just funny because the chat. Everybody like you can't say anything. Nothing. If you're, if you're a DC guy, you can't say nothing wrong about DC or you're hating. Facts. I got killed. Like I've had people literally hit my my chat and say you can't you can't praise DC now because you wanted Aaron Rodgers. You're fake. You're fake. You can't praise DC. You can't say DC's having a good season because you wanted Deshaun Watson. Hat, why not? Why would you? <laughs> like, bro, like, I, I want my quarterback to win. I want my quarterback to succeed. But at the end of the day, I, I want to be better. You know what I'm saying? But, like, but even though I feel like I feel like definitely you win more games with Aaron Rodgers. I, Me personally, though, when it comes to Deshaun Watson, obviously he's the better athlete. But I don't think we win. We go nine and seven with him. Like, I, like, I don't think he wins just that extra game. I don't like our our defense was literally the worst defense that we've ever seen this this franchise beat. Like I don't I don't think he wins you one more game. Fuck Deshaun Watson. We don't want that motherfucker over here. <laughs> Fuck that dude. Fuck. But yeah, that. like we were saying, we were all dipping out, man. Me and Stu, bro, on Sunday. That that shit'll be fun. Hey, you know what? I'm I'm gonna try and pop in at the stadium, bro. Lit. So that would be dope, dude. That that was terrible be, in there. I tried that that. Be, but their reception is garbage. It is, but, I, but I know one place where you can go in there where, where it's lit. It's so, in the um sec, second second floor, right? You have to be at the bottom. You cannot be anywhere near the top. Or it, Wi-Fi is Bro, terrible. I'm damn near on the field, and I couldn't get Wi-Fi. Oh, shit. Well, there's light one brag, spot. Light brag. Light brag. There's one spot I know where to go, bro, and I'm going to go there. Light brag. Know. Hold on. Hold on. Light yeah. brag. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was like fucking. I had fucking, uh, you know, field side fucking seats on there. I was fucking yeah, first row, first oh, row, one twenty three. You know what I'm saying? Seat two, but you know, slight flex. Yeah, I like hey. it. Shout out, shout out to Wu Tang. I don't know if he's still in there. In the chat, Wu Tang Raiders something. What was it? He had three. Yeah, I, I appreciate you, my brother. It's because of him that I will be going to this game. So shout out to Wu Tang man for making Ooh, this girl. possible. Um, that's my, that's my guy right there, man. He, um, you know, he just, he threw me two tickets. He said, man, I love what you're doing over there. Um, and I think, you Nigerian. I just seen that. Yeah. And, and that's, why, that's why I did the giveaway to take somebody to the game because I, I gotta, I gotta do a shout out to Ruckus and then I one more happy birthday to Woodson. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Shout out to Ruck, shout out to Woody, uh, bro, the goat happy, happy birthday, man, for sure. Um, on the way out, once again, I'm gonna tell y'all, man, we're still 250 deep. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Unfiltered 20 away, Truth. 20 away. Go, go subscribe to Unfiltered Truth. Go subscribe to Stu. Stu is gonna be doing a lot of lives. And like I said, once he gets to 1100, he's gonna be doing a giveaway, signed jersey, signed merchandise. So you guys go over there and subscribe. And we're definitely gonna be doing a giveaway, man. Um, and go subscribe to my brother Andy. He's over 2K now. We gotta get to that three joint. That's that. But we just hit twenty one hundred. You know, there you go. And, and I just, I just got to, I just hit ten thousand two hundred. Bam! Nice, nice. Appreciate nice. you, Sultan. So we moving and grooving, you guys, and I, this all because of the chat, man. We appreciate you guys. Um, Wu Tang said Wi Fi works where I'm at. Thank you, King. I will be live. I will be live where you guys are at. So that there we go. I'm pulling up on the live. And I'm all right, y'all. With that being said, we're on three hours. I'm gonna go lay with my wife before she divorces me, man. So shout out, you guys. Love y'all nation. Appreciate y'all, man. It was fun. Yeah. You guys have a good night, y'all.